chat, what's up? YouTube, what's up, man? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 45, and I'm hyped because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Had a great weekend in Dallas. Had a great time with, with all my friends and everything like that, man. So it was definitely awesome. And this is the first, the first podcast after an actual event, after an actual, you know, something to talk about, games to talk about. Um, and, and we have another Madden champion, you know, so that's a big deal. Not, It's not even really another Madden champion because it's a repeat Madden champion. And uh, had a great time, man. So uh, if you guys were out there, I got to meet a, a bunch of different people. I was not allowed in the venue. Um, I was not allowed to sign up and play. I was too late. Um, making my decision whether to play in MCS or not was too late. Tried to sign up a week before it closed, and it was closed for me. So... Um, I understand not being able to play. I was disappointed they did not let me get into the building to con to uh, spectate, but I understood it. You know, I, I was upset, but you know it's understood. I mean, you got to have tight security, especially with. Um, I mean, let, let's be let's be real. As much as as much as it sucks, I mean, we got shot last Madden tournament like this, man. So so as far as I don't care if who it is, man, you really can't be mad at the security that they have and the rules that they have. But I mean, I wasn't mad. I was just really sick. And it was kind of ass being in the hotel watching this shit on my phone or my computer like you guys, uh, like most of you guys did. That was kind of super ass. But I did it and had fun. Definitely went out pretty much every night. Um, we will talk about that later. But we got to talk about Madden. And you guys can tell me, YouTube, you guys can tell me in the chat, did you like watching the Madden? What did you like about it? Excuse my God with the stuff. But like I said, it's with a lot of different... It was a little bit different gameplay, man. Um, but it, it it was it wasn't similar. It wasn't unlike any other regs tournaments, really. I mean, regs offline. I mean, the run is always better, you know. And um, I mean that's how it's been. That's how it's been when we had tournaments in Madden 17, which was a super passing game, and when he played, it was a run base game on regs, man. So it was definitely a little bit different, and, and I, I I think it was a great event. You know, as much as everybody complains about the same teams, complain about the same schemes, I saw at least 10 different offenses, bunch of different defenses, and pretty much really awesome play all the way around. Um, and every every team kind of played to their strength of the team they chose. You know, and different people t told uh, chose different teams for different reasons. You know, so it was really good. Um it's really good to see that, you know? So as much as we've seen bunch and bunch or trips tight end versus trips tight end, or whatever it may be, this tournament was way different, man. And, and we saw schemes and, and that's what was cool to me. And it was completely different, you know, and definitely looked good. Yes. The Eagles looked really good. I mean, and, and the thing about the Eagles with EMB used, they really used, um, the Eagles to their strength. I mean, I didn't know Lane Johnson was that much of a damn animal and they really used him very well. Um, the little running back is a glitch and, and that was cool to see. And then Zeke obviously is Zeke, you know, I don't think, and, and I'll talk about when Mo get on cause he's waiting right now. I really don't think the arm bar is that big a deal. You know, uh, I, I honestly, uh, it, it goes back to it's like four weeks ago when me and Mo talked about it, it, it to begin with, um, was that, you know, the, the arm bar is not that big a deal, you know, because, if you have the best running back in the NFL, he should be able to break some tackles. For me, the problem was was not, not nobody else was there. Where the hell is everybody else? You know, it's kind of like always a one on one, one stiff arm just gone, and I, I think that's the crazy part about the game and run defense right now. But without further ado, man, I got to talk to my man Zach because he definitely won a tournament, and uh, he is the uh, what you call it the. Madden 20 Madden Classic Champion. You. Yo. There he is, man. So, first of all, Mo, I appreciate you coming on here, and congratulations on this tournament. Uh, it was definitely a, a, a tough tournament to win. As much as we talk about fields, this was probably as big as it gets, really. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It definitely felt good winning, winning this one. So. Yeah. You know, it, it felt like it felt like it was it was going to be tough I mean coming now mm -hmm. yeah so all right now this is what I want to know about you I want to know what the last two years have been like because I mean obviously you won the first belt and then 
everybody that plays Madden, especially at your level, and put a lot of pressure on themselves to make these events, to make the money, you know, and, and it's hard to really get yeah. it. And for you to have two low years and it's like you always trying to chase that back, what, what were them two years like? Uh, I guess stressful if I had to put one word, mm-hmm. probably be, you know, Madden, Madden 17, I still felt like I was good. The Madden, the, um, well, the Madden, the one you won, uh-huh. when I played problem, I felt like I won that tournament, especially when it was down to the final four. I just had a, I don't know. I, I just feel like I played a lot better defense than, than the people that were left, but obviously I got in that game with problem and didn't really go my way. He won the yeah. But um, and then at the end of the year, I get my problem again first, like the single elimination, and I feel like I got, I feel like I could have made a really good run, but I would have had a tough road. I think I would have had problem, Kiv, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I got pretty unlucky versus the problem. I would say like really, really unlucky, but it kind of is what it is. You know what I mean? And then Madden 18, I will say Madden 18, I was good enough to make you know to make these events. And, you know, just some unfortunate breaks. You know, I didn't play my best other game. You know, it just kind of – so it happens not there. You know what I mean? Everybody else. Is. Mm-hmm. And then last year, last year I can say I just wasn't good enough. You know what I mean? Uh, as much as it sucks to say that, no, I wasn't good enough. Uh, the club championship, I, I made it. So I feel like I always have a chance when I'm in person. I really feel like I can, I can battle. You know, Clef was probably – at that time, player I was, but you know, I feel like I can really fight when I'm there. I don't mm-hmm. know why. Like I said, uh, my live today, like when I'm at at, it's like I'm blacked out. You know what I mean? Like I'm just so focused. Like I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm doing. So focused. I think that's that's the difference between playing in person and online. Mm-hmm. What are you on? You on the Wi-Fi right now? You on the phone? Yeah, I'm on the bad. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, well, you not in the computer or anything? That's impossible. No, I can get on the computer. Yeah, hop on the PC so this joint clear. You know what I'm saying because they'd be like, ah, if if it's closed. All right, give me uh like three minutes. All right, yeah. All right, well, let me know. Or I'll be in, I'll be in another channel. Join another channel when you get a joint. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Now chat. That's a good point. Now, Mo says that he's um he's different in person. And that's that's always like I, I feel like I don't want to say I'm the opposite. I'm definitely tough online because I feel like it, it, just something about the same TV you looking at, the same seat you sitting in, the same control you're using. You can look at your play art. It's completely different. I, I feel like me, I'm better online. Not that it's like I'm ass if you go, if you go uh, offline, but I just feel like some people are better online or offline, and that's part kind of how I feel about Skimbo. I feel like Skimbo's good offline than he is online, really. Uh, and and there's other things, and because Mo has had so much experience playing offline, it's little things that he sees in the game, sees at the play call menu sees his opponent doing, seeing his seeing himself doing, bluffing out his opponent. And a lot of people did this. I saw Joke do this too. When he calls an audible, scroll through the plays, but then pick a different play because the audible will pop up on the screen and your opponent can see it. And Joke would scroll through it and then hit run a different play because I would look like, damn, Joke is about to call yo, yo, yo. stretch, but he's not. Oh, there you go. And then he would call something else. I was just talking about the little differences of playing on the same screen as opposed to playing online. You know, uh, I, I know yeah. it's, it's some things. And, and since, I mean, those type of things have been around forever, really. That, and it used to be such a big part of the game because you never played online. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And now it's it's like, it's like, and, and those are the type of things that, I mean, you guys are better than me at that. Just seeing, you know, where your opponent's moving a player, where where he's making a position sub you can see all that type of stuff and that's that's one of a skill of playing online and you were talking about how you just better when you playing in person yeah uh it's actually funny like i was literally saying like after the first day i was telling these guys i was like man my run game is even better because i know exactly where they're standing you know what i mean like oh, yeah. i know exactly when to snap the ball i know when they're trying to just move that guy just an extra little bit and, and i can get i can get the playoff and uh 
you can actually go back and watch the last 50 seconds versus Henry on that first down. I see he's just completely out of position. I knew I had him. You know what I mean? Like, I mm-hmm. knew it was first and 10. I, I knew I was going to get the first down. So, no, for sure. Yeah, well, we, we're going like to watch that. those. We're going to watch those plays. And yeah, it's just, it definitely is something different. You know, it, it's way different than playing online, especially for someone who Henry, who's played, what, 800 games of Mutt already? You yeah. know, so he's definitely played the shit out of the game online. He talking about a kid that's that's sixteen. He didn't play back when there was no online. You know what I'm saying? So as far like that, as much as that was his first big tournament, that might have been his first time really playing offline, offline. With a, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That, that's different. I would say it probably was. Yeah. So and so, the, the, but like I said, that's definitely a, uh, definitely a skill set to play offline Madden that you got definitely better than I am at that shit. And it was definitely impressive. But we could watch those games and see the different things. Um, but like we were talking about was the last two years. Not Madden 17. Because Madden 17, you had a good year, like, money-wise. Like, you made money. Yeah, yeah I had a pretty good year. Yeah, sense. so, and it's not like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Madden, Madden 18 was harder to get to the shits. And uh, yeah. it was that the, the Ultimate League was tougher to get to, you know. And yeah, that, that I mean, I was, I was a game away, you know what I mean? I played... Uh chaos of the philly one and i probably would have made the last tournament if mm-hmm. i if i beat him but yeah it's just kind of it is what it is you know what i mean uh that that's why i like other than last year like i said last year i, I don't think i was good enough at, at really any point to consider myself like one of the best players but mm-hmm. madden 18 i feel like there was multiple times even at the, in the beginning especially in the beginning and at the very end i feel like i was i feel like i was like really one of the best but you no, know, it just it just didn't work out. But also, when it didn't work out, I still knew that I was still a really good player. You know what I mean? It's just like, and I said this bef- before. It's like it's gonna happen. Like, it just sucks that it was me for two years. But it's gonna happen to other great players. You know what I mean? So, like I said, uh, stressful is probably the the best way to put it. Like, I really had to, as far as money goes, like I really had to just keep my head down and put it together you know make mm-hmm. a couple hundred bucks here a couple hundred bucks there online so you know it, it just is what it is kind of kind of take it with a, a grain of salt you know what i mean and just keep playing yeah for sure and and so going into this tournament i mean that's got to be a good feeling to be back on top of the whole game now you know what i'm saying out of nowhere well not out of nowhere but like going having them two like rough years and then being back on the stage. I know you had said, man, damn, everybody said I was washed up, blah, blah, blah. So what does it mean to go ahead and, and get back on top of the game? Oh, man, it's it's everything. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't matter if I say it. You know what I mean? Like, I got I to gotta win something. So yeah. I, I want something. You know what I mean? Nobody can really say anything. It's just funny to me, like, how people went from, like, uh, you know, he's not good. He was only good because people aren't playing. Mm-hmm. People, people weren't playing the game, and then now it's like I won this tournament, and it's like, oh yeah, you can't even argue. He's he's for sure top five. You know, it's like that's just lame to me. Like, I, listen, the like I said, the 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 run I had when I had it, it was it just came at an unfortunate time, bro. I was so good at those games, just like Skimbo mm-hmm. was so good at Madden 17. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like that, the, I just had the game perfected. It it just was unfortunate. Um, you wasn't so, making bank like that. Yeah, there just wasn't <laughs> yeah. a big tournament. So, yeah, it, you know, sure. it's just like it is what it is. But I know, like I said, you can you can at least in my opinion, I, I can watch somebody play or see the different things they do and just know like, OK, this dude's got it like yeah, he um, on the right level, at least. Or yeah, he, he on the right bracket, the right tier. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, this game, this game, uh, this game, at least for now, uh, really fits to my strengths you know i mean i'm gonna i can run the ball i can i know how to i know i'm gonna find a way to stop the run um and i'm, I'm always gonna play good pass defense so it's like if i'm able to if i'm able to put together drives running the ball then obviously I'm, I'm gonna be good because i'm gonna play some of the best defense out of everybody year in year out for sure now now that's uh, like i said i had tweeted i was like bro everybody try to take away your accomplishment and that's how people was when i they talk about the run mole just pressed a Cause I'm, your pass game that was looking rough out there when we had to pass the ball, but yeah. this is what I tell people about the run. You could tell. I'm, I'm also in a playbook that like it really don't have, don't have too I'm, much. For my, sure. my playbook's you're supposed to run the ball in my playbook. You know what yeah. I mean? It, it, and it, it, I'm, what I I'm not you. saying. Go ahead. I'm not saying I would have been one of the best passers there if I was in West Coast, but I would have been better at passing. You know what I mean? If I could For run sure. mesh post, you know what I mean? Like obviously, but it, it is what it is. Like I. 
all you can say is I was smarter than everybody. If if that's all I did, then I was just smarter than everybody. You know I, what I mean? Why I, wasn't why wasn't everybody else doing that better than played me? Played to the game's strength, but on top, and this is what I'll talk about the run. The run doesn't work unless you're playing defense. That's the only because there's no way you can just run and never play defense and win a game. That's like that, that's yeah. never going to happen. You know, your yeah. your run game has to complement your defense. You know, and that's how problems have been when he was running the ball, when he was running runs to just get yards. Because, like, when your defense is that good and can carry you, you can get away with a basic offense, especially if they made it now where it's like, okay, you're going to bust. It. If you run 20 times, you're going to bust two for 70-yard touchdowns. You know, and it's it worse. Is. But you can always do that if you're playing defense. And the game I think about that was the Kiv game. Because I think Kiv played, like, the best run defense versus you. I really yeah. think he did, but he just couldn't score. Had he scored some points – then the game would have yeah. been way different. And that's how I feel like the run game is completely based on your defense 100% of the time. And, uh, you know, another thing is, like, people people pretend like there's no scheme going on. You know, I mean, I, I ran different formations in almost every game I played. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I really broke down the game on what run plays will work versus certain defenses. Like, that that itself is a skill, just like finding out what play you need to call for a pass play. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not it's not easier. Don't get me wrong, because I know it's easier for me. I can't say that it's easier for everybody else, because not not everybody was doing that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like, it, it's hard for me to believe that it's just so much easier. I will say it's easier for me, but it's if it's just so hard for me to believe it's so much easier when people aren't able to do it. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. Well, and that, that's why I said. After watching you play, after the biggest thing to me was when you complete. And this is what you did in the Madden 16, the, in the whatever that what was it called, Madden Challenge in 16. I, yeah. I the one thing that impressed me back then was that I feel like you had a bunch of different runs, and yeah. and, this, and and that and that day it was like the final four was one day, and the championship game was like a day later. Yeah, you know, and, and I felt like you went from one scheme, but the same, obviously it was draft champion, so you were stuck in the same playbook, and then you went to a whole another run scheme. You know, and it was like game to game with different schemes. And that's what reminded me when you went when you went from the first game where the run wasn't working really good against Henry, you went to the second game, you had a whole different scheme. So that's yeah. what it reminded me of Madden 16. It was like, okay. And that's when I was like, all right, it might be a little bit, a tiny bit of skill gap in the run game. I'm not going to go crazy, <laughs> but it definitely yeah. was like, all right, he know what, what run. And it was like, and we'll talk about it. Let's watch this first game because we it's a lot of stuff I want to talk about because I, I watch these games about three times each today. Because it was, it's just little stuff that you don't even really catch the first time around, really. Now, now before I watch it, going to this game, how long had you been sitting before this game? Um, I don't think it was, I think they did a great job as far as like, yeah, yeah, it was really good. But I think it might have been like three, two, two to three hours, two hours yeah, maybe for sure. Now, but going into the first game against Henry, now you definitely have a little bit of cushion. Now you don't want to play like you have a cushion, but you do. Yeah. At the end of the day, you no matter what you try to block out, it's still in your head that you have a little cushion, right? Yeah. I honestly, uh, I honestly thought I was just gonna roll, like, cause yeah. honestly, as for as big as the tournament was, I never really had any pressure. Like, it was honestly a relatively easy tournament, and I'm not, I'm not saying that to to beat my own chest, but or pat myself on the back. I really just felt like I was in control almost all the way through the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so who were the other, who other, what was the other tough games that you had? My only other tough game, I'm not saying, you know, I played great players, but my only other close game was with uh, underrated King's brother, D-Freak. Like, like, that was my only other close game, and it, it was the same situation as the second game versus Henry. And by the way, that should have been a pick. I mean, and, and we'll talk about Byron Jones, because Skimble brought this up, that you were real meticulous in point of always putting him on the wide side of the field. Yeah. Was this, this, this is uh, the scouting it's, report. You just want him to do better on that side. I've all I've been doing that since the game came out. I just I just always I try to put him on the wide side, put him in a third, and you throw them corner outs if you want to in bunch. So, and then like, he'll get crazy. Then what happened versus Kiv? And I think that's Kibb. one thing that he picked. I think he picked one off versus Kiv, or he did. He broke something up. Yeah. And it kind of yeah, yeah, made Kiv a little uneasy after that. Yeah. Like after that, he was a little uh, definitely a little a little more. Hesitant to throw over there to Byron Jones. Yeah. Now you make Henry punt on the first drive. Like for you, that's got to be like. Uh, I'm feeling great. like the game's over. Like yeah. I honestly, I, I, you know, all I do is all I did was run the ball, but I really never got stopped in the tournament. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I really didn't experience getting stopped in the tournament, so the games were just always really easy. So I'm thinking the game's over, honestly. Yeah. 
Now, Henry, this game, it felt like he played good run defense, but at the same time, he was he was getting the he was getting the tackles every time. Yeah, like, it was you just weren't one getting away. any like good animations, and I and yeah. I saw you up there like every time the little ruck, lucky stuff with the run would happen, where he would get the shed to the right side. Or you know stuff like that, or the, the one Westry would tackle you and stuff like that. Like that, yeah. I felt like that's what was happening in this game. Did you feel that way with your running uh, game? Er, early on, for sure. But I, I feel like I just, at the end of the day, I just didn't play very good. Uh, I run, honestly didn't expect him to 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 stop the run so good, just because I had played against, I had played against this before. You know what I mean? This this run D. So like right it, here, I think I think I have. I thought I had a chance. Like in the first, even the first play of the game, this is like. I just I don't know I guess I was kind of rattled because of he was always even if even if he was making the tackle he was always getting someone free you know what I mean so just tough to keep running that, that, that's where an I I wouldn't have had the patience to keep doing I'd be like all right I've had enough so he's just bringing me down I'm getting one yard I'm in a quick third and nine that's that's just rough yeah there's there's a, like yeah man I I just I just thought I was gonna break um and then when you don't it's like I, you know what am I supposed to do especially that early on the game like yeah. Yeah, for sure. And because the people didn't have run defense. I think the biggest thing with run defense is, man, you're playing such a short game. you got to try to stop these runs for no yards. You can't let somebody get four or five yards every time or eventually it's gonna you're going to break. I think so many people try to stop the run for nothing. That's why they're blitzing these linebackers. Everybody's in the box. That's what causes people to give up these huge plays. Yeah, and that, that's honestly something that we were super prepared for is like, we actually did a really good job of hiding what we were going to do versus the run. You know what I mean? Cause you know, everybody was just in like the cover four meta and, and that was, that was perfect for me. You know what I mean? Cause I knew that I had no chance, yeah. like absolutely no chance for me. Cause I, I'll just run. I, I can know I could just run dive down your throat. You know what I mean? Even mm-hmm. if I don't break a big run, eventually I'm going to, but I know for sure I'm getting five or six. So yeah, that, that, that's, that's how that, I want to run the ball anyways. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, if you watched me throughout the tournament, like you would know that the arm bar was not a factor. For for me, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm over the arm bar discussion. I I think it goes back to what we talked about when we first did the podcast. Was that Zeke should make some people miss? You know, I don't yeah. have a problem with him making people miss ever, really. You know, and I mean it is crazy the way he disrags linebackers and stuff. Maybe it should be different animations for the bigger guys. But I mean, it's not like it, I I didn't see one crazy play where he broke four tackles. You know, most of the time it's one guy he breaks the first guy and then and I mean, he's just gone. Just, yeah, that's because I don't know where. To, like I said, I don't know where the hell everybody else is. But, you know, it's just – I just don't think the arm bar was really like, oh, the arm bar, uh, that, that's why yeah. he won. I, it had nothing to do with that. I mean, obviously, he has a great running back. And honestly, if we're talking me versus Henry, I think arm bar – you could argue arm bar was bigger for him than it was for – That's something I said. They both had this shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. everybody's talking about me not passing. You want to talk about what this motherfucker Henry was doing? Henry was sweeping <laughs> our lives. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he was just sweeping me every time I was in – uh you know some pass defense like he's just playing the game you know what i mean that's, yeah. that's all that is. well that's the one thing that uh, as we watch henry play all the time uh and on my, he just throwing the ball around like i watch henry be yeah. like damn he's a good passer but at the same time this adds to him he's not stupid <laughs> you know and, yeah, exactly. and the game gonna let you run the ball and god bless you know you should and he should go ahead and uh keep running he adapted to the game so that, i feel like that's a that's a skill gap in itself, you know. Like, okay, this is what works in the game. I'm gonna adapt it to my my scheme. You know? Yeah, I literally couldn't believe that he he passed the ball right there. Like, I'd never run commit. I was just doing it just because. I don't know why I did it. Yeah, I mean, that was a good play. Now, I, I'm assuming that's the flip glitch with slants. That's why he do like a slant out. Is that, is that what that is? Uh, that was an out route. I think that it's was just an out route. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I think it was slants, flip, snap. That's what I thought. Oh, really? Maybe. Sure, kind of, uh, kind of. Then looking at it again, it might kind of look like an overall. I don't know. I don't know about this flip shit anyway. They yeah, told me about that two days that ago. One. I was like, what? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm really off like the cover game. for. I'm off the cover for uh, the meta shit. I'm off it. It's not. It's just not good. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like yeah, everybody it, gets blocked in the front seven. Everybody. Yeah, like if they run stretch, you you have a chance. Like right there, I thought I was gonna break. Well, someone shed. That's what I'm talking about. Someone shed right away. And it looked like I just I don't like that shit anymore. I feel like any defense where they all get blocked, it's rough. Oh, that time Jalen Smith bagged it. 
All right, so let's go through this game. Because this one got... It was ugly. It was, it was ugly, but I, I did feel pretty unlucky in this game. Oh, this play right here. Oh, this is sick. That was out route, right? Yeah, it was out route. So, I can't lie. Sometimes they do let you get them off, though, on like a streak. I know. I... Yeah, but you never... But this, this is the thing about this play. He's just so open. I'm just like... I'm trying to yeah, get it out. You're not prepared. You're not prepared not for a fake for run commit. I'm not looking for why. Yeah. Yeah. You're not prepared for a fake run commit. And most of the time, when people run, you're gonna hit the outside guy anyway. Yeah. And it's just, it's. Just, I swear, if they let you get that off, like, uh, if it was like a fraction of a second, they let you do it for a. A big play. Yeah. So the the run commit surprised the shit out of you, and it's like, damn. Yeah, that was unlucky. But uh, we know why I was over though. Like, cause yeah, it was just exactly. A, it's it like was I know why. Terrible timing. It's just like. It's gonna be a touchdown. Like that's what that's what makes it sick. Like obviously sevens are huge for me. Like at this point, like I'm, I'm yeah, getting ten. Mad. Ten is way different. Now it's fourth and nine. Do you punt this ball? Oh, no, I go for it. I want to say I go for it. I just get completely bagged. What's the go-to pass play? It's gotta be inside no. switch, right? Nah, I think I ran. Um. Oh, you audible out to this. I ran PA post shot. I think. Oh, never mind. I just ran this. Actually, I think I got this. I think I throw it over him. Oh, never mind. I got bagged. Yeah. Yeah, but then then that's like it's rough there because you know it's thir now it's thirteen to three, automatic. Yeah. It's thirteen to three. And the way he was playing, it's not like he was really opening it up. You know what I mean? He was gonna just take his threes. He don't have to. And if you yeah. the way you plan, I wouldn't try to open it up either. I'd be cool with thirteen to three. I'd almost just take this to the fourth quarter and kick my field goal. I wouldn't even mess with anything. Yeah. And I don't know if that's what he did. I, I was definitely rattled just because like the run was just getting completely bagged, and you know what I mean. Like yeah. that's what's supposed to happen when the you know like, somebody plays good defense every once in a while, and then you're like, I got to try to manufacture points somewhere. Yeah. You know, get a seven somewhere, and that's Henry. Henry just Henry. fucked up right there. I think bad. Yeah, I mean, how does he not get sacked right there? But it's know. not even that. How does he not take that to the fourth quarter? Oh, yeah. Look where he snaps the ball with 10 seconds. That would have been 40. It would have been in the fourth quarter. It would have had to been perfect. But, I mean, shit, why would you not take that to one half a second right there? I just think it's so funny that you actually believe that fancy. Like, being a good player and you actually believe it comes down to whether or not Zeke armbar someone or not. Like, it's just not true. It's 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 just unfortunate that you th you think that without being disrespectful. I mean, it changes it. I mean, it it changes it, but like I said, you could watch you could watch a lot of my games and Armbar played. Zero. You think Armbar played a factor for me versus Beast Mode when I fucking ran the ball all over him? Hell no. Well, me man, versus Beast, Beast Mode. Me, me versus Beast Mode. Like, Yo, how the fuck does Beast Mode go there? He has no idea what he's doing to stop the run. <laughs> like, me versus Beast Mode. It looked like I was going to score a touchdown every play. I mean, armbar. It's just what it does. It makes uh, Zeke break tackles. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I mean, so I, I really don't. I really just yeah. We'll talk about Beast Mode in a little bit because he did some shit I ain't like. You know. Now, nah, I'm, I'm Henry. This another. <laughs> this just another two minutes on the clock. Damn. Why can't 146 work against iPhone? Now, Kiv had the bag. I was like, shit. I got Bro, run they both shit. ran my defense. Oh, yeah. oh no. That, 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 I noticed you said that you like, I'm playing myself. That was kind of yeah, like, like, these motherfuckers was, wouldn't be good without my defense. That, 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 Bro, that's how skin will be. <laughs> I was so sick because... Ooh. It, I was mostly sick because I could still I could still run on like, that should have been a pick. That's why I, that, like I'm gonna get right back in the game. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and and that that's his fuck up. You know what I mean? Like that's that's yeah, where he fucks up. Like, that's fucked up right there. He just wanted to throw that little hitch and then he just broke broke out of there right away. Yeah. Well, he playmakered him, didn't he? No, nah, I think he just it was just the, the worst timing to throw the hitch. I mean, if he playmakered him, yeah, that's definitely rough. But I think well, he just uh, just tried to throw the hitch and then he he you know where they start making their own routes. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like I was actually mad. You know what I mean? It's just like, God, like you do feel stupid. No, he did. Yeah, he did to a yeah, see, like I mean, there's no doubt that should be a pick. You know what I mean? Like, there's no, there's no, no the debate. Linebackers just are fucking awful. They're really bad. But um, yeah, I said I said I was playing myself because I had literally just told, like, even even the run defense itself is is good. 
I had just told Henry something else before he played joke. Like that would that that just end up working good against me too. You know what I mean? Like literally yeah. the same day. So it just makes it it makes it sick because I know I know I could have still ran the ball decently on the on the run D. See, and that and Mo, that's the difference between you and Skimbo. He don't tell me that shit because he knows if he tells me that shit, it's gonna get dark for him. So he just keeps all that yeah. shit to himself. See, I'm starting to feel like you're a better friend. I mean. There's probably no doubt that I'm a better friend than Skimbo, but <laughs> but you always gotta make sure your friends be joke though. Always, that's that's. It ain't really that. Like I want them to be everybody. That ain't me. You oh, know yeah, what I mean? Sure. Like, but joke especially. Nah, <laughs> yeah, maybe for you, but not for me. It's like right. it's everybody, bro. Like it, it really is. Like it don't it don't matter. You know what I mean? Oh so my it, god! It, oh, that was you that did that bummy shit. Oh my god. The yeah, stretch was, looking? You went for the stretch? You tried to get a one hitter I mean, quitter. You need I just one. knew he was just manned up, so I was just trying to yeah, trying to get lucky. Beats it, you need a one hitter quitter bed right now. Yeah, but and I was honestly kind of sick because I thought the Rundy was gonna get out because Henry chooses his defense from recent plays. I'm like, and oh, I literally told oh yeah, it's him out. Before, oh yeah, it's out. Don't worry, I, I tried. Him, it. Well, I know it's I know it is now, but I told him before the tournament like don't do that, and like this dude just did it all the tournament. And most of that is. Playing five, 700 games a month. Yeah. You know? And that's... I wouldn't even think about that. I don't really call my... Maybe I call my offense from recent plays, but I definitely don't call my defense from recent plays. Oh, Lord. Nah, like, you just... This is rough. Now, is there anything... At what point do you feel like this game is cooked? Do you ever uh, think that right during now. the game? Are is there anything you're doing in the game to prepare for the next game? No, nah, but I wish I would have. You know what I'm like, saying? Like do some different. I wish shit? I would have. I, I I said that before the game that I would do that, and I just didn't. I really wish I should. I wish I wish I would have, because I I am feeling at this point like it's over. But I also know if I get a touchdown, like I can fight. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's interesting because like it's something I never think about like. During the game, but sometimes, and, and, and you know, you're used to playing, you know, best of sevens, best of threes, best of fives, and shit for money. It's kind of similar to that. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I, I, I do wish I just would have went to. I wish I would have tried to prepare more for the next game. Is the, the only thing I take away from this game, really. I mean, I, I just play this. I play this dumb right here. Like, I, I still, I'm still in the game right here. I should have, I should have played much safer. And I think I take a sack right here, like a thirty yard sack. Yeah. yeah, but like you said, if you can get a score, he he gonna get nervous, and that's yeah. what you're thinking, really. Like if I can get a score, especially before the two minute warning, that's why yeah, I'm trying to push the pretty, envelope. I'm not saying I'm gonna win in that spot all the time, but I'm, I'm I feel like I'm better than most in in that spot. You know what I mean? So yeah, a, I mean that's not a not a terrible spot to be in. You know, just just kicking the ball off, making him nervous. You know, like I said, this is first shit. I don't know if he was in any really super tight games like that before. I can't even think about it. I guess the joke game was pretty, pretty tight. Yeah, but then once you don't score before the two minute warning, it's like, damn. Yeah, it's just over. Like, yeah, man, it's super cool. I'm not saying it's over, but like you got to score within the next thirty seconds and oh, with yeah, the runoff. Definitely the minute. It's just so hard with the runoff. Oh, the runoff kill. The runoff kills the two. It just it's never been like this. It's a completely different game. See people calling the timeouts with fit their last timeout with fifty seconds left. It's pretty wild, honestly. But now, one thing about it, we haven't seen Henry run any big nickel. Yeah, that that took me by surprise too. You know, because I, I think I'm just completely just wanted to stop inside zone. You know, I guess he just figured a mogul passing. I just never, I just didn't. A, I wasn't expecting him to ever come out in a big nickel. I mean, I don't know if he had prepared for me or what, but I just, like you said, I never seen him run it, so I was like. All right, so we've done that game. Now, Get now. I'll be honest. I think I went and took a piss. I was like, All right, I got some time. That shit was right back into it. Nah, right I was away. ready, bro. I was just like. Rage, get back into it. Did you, was it? Did you do? Did you actually start a new game, or did y'all do restart game? No, nah, we started a new game. Started a new game. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's how I be when I'm hot. If I lose, I'm hot. Like run it back right now. I don't want to yeah. get up off the seat. 
So I went. I, I swear I took a piss. Went back to the phone. Let me see. I had, and all of a sudden it was it was a seven nothing already. So talk yeah. about talk about this little five minutes you have to think about something. What is going through your mind? Because they, but that looked rough. It looked like damn. This this kid really gonna come and pop. Because as as everybody else thought, Mo not gonna lose twice to the same person. Yeah. So talk about what's the adjustment right now as we see the single back bunch. I'm just like I'm just gonna try some more fucking run plays. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, this D-Freak dude ran this on me, and I couldn't stop it. So let me try this first play. Yeah, and then we see that's the one time the arm bar did throw a linebacker and one yeah. hit a quitter. I and mean, I, I, I that was just completely one-on-one. You know what I mean? Like, I, I need Zeke to win that sometimes. You know what I mean? I'm not saying every time, but, like, that game that game was big. I mean, that, that, that right there was big. Because it's, it's a breath of fresh air. It's like a little, oh. little bit of pressure off your chest. And honestly, it only worked on that play. Really, like I wasn't getting very consistent yards, and that's why he ends up going up by seven. You know what I mean? Like, so it was—I don't know. Honestly, I, I've never felt comfortable on offense until I went to the wing flex. What the hell was the wing flex? The uh, shit. Yeah. I, I will tell you, as I watch this game, your little motion over guy never did anything for you. I was doing it anyways. <laughs> No, but I can't. I just see. I just you did all your audibles at the, at the extra point. See, I would have been hot on the other side. Hot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'd have been hot. Yo, I'd have been like, yo, this fuck. Get kick this, the fucking extra get this point, delay, bro. Kid. Oh my god, I'd been hot. <laughs> see, I just added that to my game because I definitely would have been hot after that shit. Man, just, that was that was just me. You know what I mean? Like kind of gathering my thoughts. So that's know. not bad. That's not a bad. I just throw that pro tip. I don't think I ever did audibles at the extra point screen. You know, and now, now, anything different you want to do on defense, or you felt like your defense was cool? I feel like, honestly, uh, no, nah, I, I felt like the defense. I feel like we never. I feel like he, we never. He never had a play last game, honestly. Because he was kind of up and had yeah, he just he was just up, and I just play. I just I just never could score. Let's see, you know Let's what see. I mean? So. No. Although I think I did, I think I did maybe run cover one robber on him too much, and I had I had never done that throughout the entire tournament. I just figured it would work on him because he was the Cowboys, and his dudes aren't going to get off man press that well. Yeah, but I feel like you kind of have I, an advantage really in that. I mean, shoot. But he had a it. he had a play dialed up for that, so like he, I don't know, he had this route concept that was just crushing that. Yeah, I mean. But and this goes back to the run game. It's always easier to play defense when you're up seven nothing. Last game, yeah. I mean, you were never up seven nothing. Exactly. Because the feeling when you're on defense is like, okay, even if I he breaks one play or he scores a bomb and you pick him on the first play, uh, what, 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 I feel like I don't know what he was doing right there. I feel like that was. Rough. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm feeling great. You know, I'm feeling like the game is over right here. Like, oh, yeah. just I think it's over already. Because I mean, shoot, he came this far and now he just got to climb one more mountain. And this, this, you couldn't ask for a better start. And so now we got to try to toss again, right? Oh, for uh, sure. Uh, you ain't even try to toss again. So you don't believe in the toss. Now, but this is, this is what I thought you were doing. And this brought me back to a game that I lost against Joel because I had the stretch bagged. And he might have your stretch bagged with 3 4, right? Or the toss bagged with 3 4, right? But. That might not be his best inside his own defense. <laughs> and so once and this is what I thought was like, all right, I got him in, in three four. Let me audible up to the inside zone. Yeah, you know, exactly. I got this inside zone specialist. I know he doesn't like stopping inside because if he was in big nickel, he'd be shooting down there blowing the inside zone up. Yeah. But the fact he's coming out in three four for the toss gives him weaker inside zone defense. So I felt like, man, that's that's definitely pretty pretty tough and, and, and so far it seems like damn I'm going with this scheme because this is popping yeah like I said I thought the game was over you know I'm talking about right after I pick him I'm thinking the game's over and I'm thinking I just found a run play that's going to work I'm going to audible up and down he's going to be stuck in 3-4 all game Um, I think I'm just going to run all over him and, and if he's forced to pass I know I'm going to play good pass defense so I was just thinking the game was over and you know obviously that wasn't the case now, part of not being the case was you having to kick field goals. Yeah, honestly, I don't really understand why I went the strong tight like right here. Like it just like I, I just got bagged in this formation all game last game. 
there was really no point. I was really just completely freestyling. You see me motion in my tight end. It's like, yeah. I mean, what am I doing? Well, you probably should have even just stayed in the. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, the single back yeah, lunch, just like. kept kept audibling up inside his own because that's the one thing about bunch tight end because all them wide receivers are right there that you, nobody's really gonna shoot off the edge. You're gonna get a clean, clean little run. But yeah, I I feel like bunch tight end, or not bunch tight end. This single back bunch as you, you just run a toss and get back now. Uh, I feel like single back bunch. I feel like I can stop that in in pass defense. That's how yeah. I feel. And and Henry obviously was cool coming out in three four. Uh, so uh, two, I would have took advantage of that too. So, so that's one field goal, and there's no thought about running the clock right there. Like you, at this point, that's how I feel. Uh, this it's, time it's like don't really like matter. I want to try, try to stop him again. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I, I really don't. I don't want him to be in a situation where he can clock me out. And then he's just got control of the game again. So yeah, if he get a, a ten seven and then get the ball. Plus, like as a runner, you kind of need to, you need to be the one controlling the clock. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Look, is this where he breaks the sack just immediately? Uh, I don't think it was this early in the game. Yes, it was. No, no I'm not talking about like this early, but it was close. Like I'm saying, I thought it was uh, right. further. Now, right this is what Second. I don't understand, though. And this is what I do in, against Bunch. Why don't we just deep half that guy every time on the left side? Nah, I did be glitching. Three? No, I just, I got to see it more. But I just hate I guess when you just see that, you just want to run with the bomb, I guess. But, obviously, the sack break was huge. Now, I said, I said that was kind of tough by him. Because when I'm breaking sacks, shoot, I'm done. The Man, done. that was a tough, bro. When I, I truly believe, I truly believe if he don't break that sack, that game is going to get ugly. I truly believe that. I, I say that because he would have been stuck passing the ball. I don't, can't nobody just sit there and pass the ball in me all game. I don't care who you are. It's just not what's going to happen. That, that, look, like I said, if you watch this game, he passed the ball more times on his first drive than he did the rest of the game. He was in already in pass mode. Down down to nothing, it was already pass mode. No, I look, know. I just completely stopped with my user because I just think he's sacked. Like, that's so sick. Like, oh, but That's what Dak Prescott does in real life, right? Okay. I mean, I don't think so. It's you guys are the ones that tell me that. That's why you guys are going to pay him $200 million this week. But, yeah, talk about giving that up and how you got to just relax. Because like you said, he's definitely in a hole. It's it's he- honestly it's tough in that spot, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, my God, like I just I just I'm fall for I'm back in the this- game. I'm back in the game. I just fall for this lead, and he just got he just got seven of it immediately for without having to work for it, you know what I mean? Well, he did break the sack like to the left out of the shed area, so nobody else was going to yeah, get him. No one it was a good animation. I just feel, I just know myself when I, I just feel like it's tough to break a well, sack, but because he broke well, it, like I said, to the left, he's looking at one route on that play oh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, I understand. You know what I mean? He's looking. He's that's the only route he's looking at anyway. So there's no pressure to to make find something somebody happen. to find somebody. Yeah. So we just gonna stick with the the inside zone specialist. Now, how much uh, single back bunch and inside I've never zone have you been it. running? I didn't even know that playbook had that until I played Jeez. that D freak. And that's the guy's honest truth. All right, look now, at Zeke. Well, Zeke went crazy, but he went crazy on Anthony Brown and Westry. Yeah, and you, and you see, you see how I I I, I took it to Westry right there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, mean, I, I away from the other I, guy. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Yeah, I ran straight into Westry, you know what I mean? To Because I know I'm going to get the one-on-one with his user if I, if I can get to Westry first, you know what I mean? But if I get to his user first, it's like... It's, it's a little it's, harder it's, to I, get the right yeah. Now, th- talk about... You tried to talk to Henry there. Was there any like, all right, let me try to talk to this kid, get him out of this focus mode, because he's just been kind of chilling versus everybody. I, what did I, I don't I don't remember talking. I was about. just like Henry. You was just like Henry. Why are you so lucky? You getting so lucky? But I was like, just playing, like not really capping, but just trying to talk to him. And he ain't, he ain't look at you at all. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't know. Maybe I did want him to respond, but it's just like I was just honestly sick. Like I was sick that I was even in the second game because I had dominated the tournament. Yeah, see, I, this almost what I would do. Audible to this, get he's in three four, yeah, and just pass the rock. 
I don't even see. No, third and seven, we in fringe field goal range. I guess it's not friends with that dude from Dallas. Jesus. Yeah, you could almost take a sack right here, still be in field goal range. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you, I think you can. But I think I try to throw a pick instead. Oh, when you go four verts? Yeah, I throw the ball to X right here. Kids be completing that shit on me all day, dude. All That's day they complete, <laughs> all day they complete <laughs> that bullshit. I, I didn't try it for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kids throw that shit on me all day, dude. Like, and then, That's exactly what happened to me. I tried some shit. Oh, I feel like you should have missed that field goal. This is all Madden. Yeah. I knew for Madden sure. Classic. They, they don't miss nothing on, that, on this. But I, do you agree that that's just too easy? Yeah, I, I should have missed it. Yeah. I feel like, that, yeah, that should have been a miss. That would have been sick if you missed that shit, though. Yeah. You been, that should have been real rough. But now, even though I feel like you've dominated this game, it's 13 to 7. Yeah, so for that's sure. got to be going through your head like, damn. This shit could be yeah, different. Like, yeah, exactly. And he's getting ball at half, too. So it's like, I really ain't done nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just got to keep fighting, that's all. And this is when the sweep master himself. But it's like, when he saw the sweep, when he saw the 146, he ran sweep. Shoot. Taylor Gang. Kiv was the swaggiest player. Don't ever say no shit like that. First of all, Skimbo was the swaggiest with his pink jersey, bro. That shit was dripping. You saw him all the way through the... First of all, they showed Skimbo 700 times during the broadcast. <laughs> but we bar- we didn't, never even got to see him play on stream, really. Shit. I feel like Henry should take I felt he should have milked right there to the two minute warning. First and ten? I don't know. Yeah, especially at Pollard in the game as well. Yeah, hey, take a break. Take a breather. Yeah, Kiv had on a flannel shirt. Oh, he had the best swag ever. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> now at what point in this game do you call your timeouts on defense here? To try to get the ball uh, back. Probably next play. I think. I don't know. It, it just it can go either way. I don't really want to have the ball back with too too little of time, and then he then he fuck around and get, give him the ball back for. But then he scores on the next play. Give him the ball back for a field goal. Yeah, run commit right there. I don't know what's going on. Run commit his ass. I think that would make the game. What if run commit was like a loss of five guaranteed? I think that would make the game a little crazy. But it'd be cool. Cause we actually see some passes mixed in. Oh, so you got a minute sixteen. You kind of need some points right here. Like need some points. Yeah, I get really lucky too. Oh, is this when you throw your dot? Yeah. yeah. Now, I you would agree that you you show a lot of emotion on the man stage, right? Mm-hmm. I will tell you this: you ain't show no emotion when you do your dot. No. <laughs> Like, so you ain't smile or nothing. You ain't even shrug your shoulders. Bro, that was the most stone cold look. Like, <laughs> you ain't look at nobody. With the I was honestly still sick. Like, the the broken sack, like, I really feel like the game's going to get bad. Like, I, I truly believe that. You know what I mean? Henry's my guy. I just don't think that. I think he was going to be in pass mode, and I don't think anybody's passing the ball on me all game. I mean, I mean, that's a point for sure. Especially not, with the Cowboys. Damn. You're just not doing it. Oh, it's tough to pass every game, every play with the Cowboys. As he calls time out here, and this I mean, could have killed let's, him. Dude, let's talk about his guys just shedding, though. Oh, that was a mean play by Demarcus Lawrence. I don't think anybody. I don't think I seen a D lineman make a play like that all day. That stuff was nuts. There is there. Any, oh man, this is the play right is here. Is there any thought they're just running the ball here and just chalking it or what? No, because he's gonna get the ball. Like he's gonna he's get the gonna ball. He's gonna get the ball. It's just. You gotta find somebody. Jesus. 
mean, let's let, let's talk about. It. I did get a bad throw. I waited for my dude to stop, and my dude just straight. Just, just Yo, modem blink. <laughs> Oh, I, Yo, that's so funny to me. Ain't no problem. Like he don't blink. Look at this. Look. Yeah, he look up. What he look at? How many you not throwing that right there when he stops? I, oh, let me see the actual play again. But he definitely didn't didn't blink. I thought that was hell because it was like damn. Mo if if my dude play. just stops, I'm probably gonna get another ten yards. Like, why you ain't throw it right here? Why you ain't throw that? If he stop, oh yeah, I know what you mean. If he doesn't go back to the middle of the field. Yeah, I don't want him to just sail the ball yeah, on me. That's you know? the thing, though. You really never know where they're going. Like, this, that shit happens. Yeah, but I feel like you couldn't do that, John. But you were probably, that's what I'm saying. That's how the Twitch chat be. You were probably looking on the other side of the field who's going to come back to left and no, right. I was staring that motherfucker right down, nah, dog. Man, you should have been I was, I was staring him down, that's for sure. That's some shit I would have said. Just like, and, you know, you we just got to field goal mode. Maybe, let's get a field goal. That's what I would have said. Cobb makes those plays in real life. That's the shit I'd be saying. <laughs> it would be so hot. Like that's Randall Cobb who does that. Damn, shit, that play, that that play was a big play. Like that shit. You talk about a broken sack changing the game. That shit changed the game a lot too. That shit helped because even if he picks it, now if he picks it, it probably be even better because one he could have got out of that tackle, not got tackled, returned it for another twenty yards, and been already yeah. in field goal range with two timeouts. Really? Yeah. Henry got to make that play right there. I blame him for that. Got to back up into the circle a little bit better. Hmm. Well, shoot! Now we got you. Gotta get your field goal. So now we up fourteen to sixteen, fourteen, three field goals. Let's not even talk about the no doubter. What's the no doubter? A field goal. Just a bomb. Oh yeah, you can't you cash perfect. this one though. It still don't make up for the uh, the last one though. All right, now, now this as a field goal kicker, after your last field goal, was you a little shaky on that one going into that? Nah, it's just like, I know it's just like damn near impossible to miss a field Like, you got to miss a field goal so bad to actually you miss gotta it. You got to do some ghost shit. Yeah, like, so I was just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't like kicking them field goals. At this point, I still really don't know how I'm going to score because he's starting to stop inside zone. I guess I really never ran – the bunch tossed to the left again. Like, I didn't even realize. Really ran that toss one time, scored a touchdown, I didn't, and really I didn't, didn't try realize, it again. I didn't realize I didn't run it again. I guess I was just so excited that he was in 3 4. Oh, shit. Verticals are so fucking gay, dude. These bums didn't have that fucking wheel route. They'd suck. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, if they didn't have that wheel route, they would all I suck. I put a half right there, too, just thinking my guy's going to get glitchy, but he just does nothing. That's why I be thinking, too, a two-man on there will stop it because it's a deep blue route. No. <laughs> we got to put – that's why you need three people to stop the fucking wheel route, and these guys think they can pass. Bum-ass fucking bunch of players, dude. So, damn, now he's right – now you're right back losing. That's how I feel. I'm right back 17-16. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I – Honestly, I played terrible defense and had no offense, too. So I felt. So are we covering one of him right now? Is that why our DB is going to the other side? I guess it is. Yeah. That's a good doubt. He saw that from the last play and just went to it right away. Last play, he couldn't throw it because he had to roll out to the left. Yeah. This, this nut-ass formation. I hate this shit, too. God, take that. Why is this in West Coast, man? Y'all gonna give him the best bunch and the best little short yardage play. I mean, every time he ran it, he scored a touchdown, I felt like. And then, then what he does here, he goes and just hands it off to Pollard <laughs> instead of Zeke. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, that, that's what's crazy. West Coast really has the best bunch and the best short yardage. That's in no other playbook. They're bunched and their short yardage is in no other playbook. God, him, um, him, him being kind of like scared right here really saves him. And like, that's one thing in the second half of this game, he got every little short like yardage. If we're playing thing. online, if we're playing online, he probably doesn't get seven right here. Because he runs thirty oh, no, 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 four. Yeah, like, like no, I just no, don't no. think he's. Ever I remember doing his it. other touchdown you were talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about the other one. Like third and one. goal from the eight or something. Yeah. Yeah, but that's one thing about this game that people don't see that 
he got every little fight like that into the end zone. And I yeah. feel like you didn't get the fight. And specifically, the two-point conversion is coming up. I feel like he, his man fought and your Ye- Zeke ain't fought. Yeah, I should have got there. I feel like I should have yeah. got there. You ain't, get the, you ain't get the same fight. And that, that's why, I mean, the run, God, shit is lucky. Sometimes you get to fight, some, especially down there. You talking about the short this yardage? Is, this, this is where I feel like I finally, I'm I'm comfortable again. Like, I know I'm going to be able to run the ball for good. So for, let's talk about the thought process going into this. <laughs> what were we thinking? Like, all right, this shit, no, I seen Joker and them run this shit. Like, how much have you uh, run this shit prior to this? Zero. So this is this is most first game, chance? The whole game, all of this, was, I'm talking about even online. This whole game was completely freestyle. Never ran it ever at any point. Never even online. That's the God's oh, honest Lord. truth. Zeke Elliott. Like, that's like what I'm saying. That's, How does he break just, one tackle? And where is everybody else at? Look at me, bro. Rewind it. Rewind it. I don't think people even realize like how like how smart that was. All right, let me see what you. Like, I, I don't. I don't run outside, and so I can have his com- have his computers chasing me. I cut up inside because I know I'm a, I'm gonna lose his user already. And I'm just gonna try to find the one guy. Uh, I think you're gassing it a little bit. How? I think Go look. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching. This is the third time I'm watching. I mean, you definitely you just cut it back upfield. I definitely got if, the if, one if guy. I, if I go to his user, the computer's just gonna come tackle me. But if I come to the computer, the user's already dead. I ran into one person. Like, I can't help that y'all don't have the vision I have. Like, it's that simple. I knew I was going to get hit by one person. His user was going to have to make that play. All right, I want to see what Mark Cooper does on this play. Mark Cooper, Mark just, this Cooper is like this is, like, is what this sucks is what about sucks. fucking the run game, dude. Mark Cooper blocks Sean Lee at the point of attack, then comes back and gets the safety out of the play. Then Sean Lee not only gets blocked at the point of attack, but then he gets stiff-armed to the crib. No, I mean, the stiff-arm is going to happen. But, I mean, he makes a point that if you go... User first, you might stiff on the user, but then you'll get tackled by the, the computer. computer. But if you go computer first I don't, I don't and kind of run away anybody. from the, like, no, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say. Don't, yeah, no, I don't care. Like, like what? I, me, I don't think I go for two here. Did you think about this at all? Yeah, I thought about it. I, I just wish I would have ran stretch, honestly. But my point, it could, you could argue either way, going for two or not going for two. Me, I wouldn't go for two here because I just feel like that yeah. might come back. It I just didn't really. I didn't want to not see the ball again for my for my 35. Oh yeah, because then he could. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I mean, you talk about he's about six and a half minutes. Not terribly hard. Not that pause. Not that difficult. But um, yeah, I understand that. I mean, them them dudes fought on that that two point conversion. Yeah. I thought I was gonna get in right there. I guess he must be crashing his line down. I guess yeah, of course. But they're definitely they definitely fought right there. Short yards is definitely animation based. I just know if I I, I should have just ran stretch. That's the only thing I'll, I'm mad at myself for. But now, are you afraid of I'm never going to get the ball back? I am, but I also know I can kind of control that too. Yeah, but I've been playing like an asshole on defense. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. But I just felt like it didn't really matter. He was scoring so easily. Yeah, I don't think he's playing the type of ball to go ahead and Keep the ball for six minutes, really. Especially not in bunch. Now we went nickel normal. Why? Because he was just pounding one four six. So I just, I just wanted to get him into a passing situation. No, yeah, well, definitely. Jalen Smith just earned his money there. He shed the shit off Zach Martin. I'd be pissed if a runner Zach Martin got shedded by a linebacker like that. I'd be pissed. Oh shit! I watched his bum D tackle shed me every play of the first game. I don't think it's this play. I think it's the next play. It's the, actually it is this play. I just get caught. Like my my dude doesn't blitz. My nickel doesn't blitz. And if I do, he's gonna get screamed at. Like See, he really runs a pretty bad play for the defense I called. No, no. What, what do we call her? Look at cover two. I'm I'm trying to run cover two and blitz seven. Yeah, throw it to me, please. I'm just no, gonna control I, that. I'm I gonna will control tell you. On the right, and that that play is gonna be terrible. I think this this catch by Henry is dirty though. I really. Oh do. yeah. Because yeah. the only way he completes this is if he gets a right no, to left animation with a possession catch. If it's He's a rack gonna... catch, you hit him. If it's a straight possession catch, you hit him. 
But if he get he swerves and gets a right to left animation, almost like a corner route, and gets the possession catch like that, I thought this was yeah. dirty. Yeah, that was that was a tough catch. Yeah, but yeah, I understand. But yeah, if you would have blitz, it would have been he either would have chucked the wheel route, the play, he would have waited for the in route. Shot, but he would have had it. He would have either taken a sack or got lucky and and pressed the right button or or got picked off. Because I was gonna blitz seven and and I didn't have to watch the right side of the field at all. Jesus, then he bust one. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, you want to talk about my guys just not? I mean, where is everybody? Right where that's how I feel on every run. Where the, where the hell is all the people? Bro, but money it looked to? like everybody was was about to get tackled. It looked like everybody was about to tackle him. Man, where do you, let me see where these linebackers go. You know, everybody see. just falls over oh, each oh, other. Oh, fuck, Demarcus Lawrence. But that's the worst part, dude. They don't put arms out. How, what, like, what is Demarcus Lawrence? This It's not the arm bar, not the problem. What is Demarcus Lawrence? Like, he don't even put an arm. Bro, that was rough. Everybody just went and set a screen for him. Dude, that was Demarcus rough. Lawrence just went and set a screen for him. I, like, That's I just thought for sure I was going to attack him. I didn't even, I didn't even really, I was just waiting for him to break off of him, at least. You know what I mean? Then I could tackle him, my user. But he had all, like, he just ran past me. And now he's blinking. I feel like he's the ass of Zeke ever when he, he got tackled by the first person, Randy Gregory. Now his now his blink is gone. This is like I said, like I, I would say the the last the last touchdown he scored and this touchdown, I feel like he doesn't score these online. He you know what I mean? He may, die. but he's, he would have tried to. Yeah, die he would have he would have passed for him. I would I would think he would try to dot too. Cause just how you talk about you didn't want to get clocked for all your. It I, I like would, everybody I would try was to there in the first one. What would make you run it again? He got just great blocks too, and then the one on one. Yeah, I agree. I would have tried to pass right there, one hundred percent, one hundred percent of the time. Cause think about this: if you run there and you you get stopped, which is yeah, more than likely, just, right? Like, you're you're, you're milking gonna... yourself. You're helping you yeah. milk him out. Like that 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 was a tough call, really. And then this, is, I guess he didn't fight that much. It was just a little better run, really. But he definitely stiff on to the end zone. So now you're down seven. Now it's like a game from where we talked about the sack to now it's like, damn, this is looking a little rough now, right? Yeah. Because no so matter how good you play offense, you're not going to have a lead. I did feel like he was going to struggle with the the wing flex. But, yeah, you felt good because you ran it one time and scored a touchdown. Yeah. Yeah, I felt good about it. That run that run was pretty sticky, sticky but I'm like looking back at it. It wasn't bad. Like, how he, he caught my corner just like just a, just enough to where he's gonna just get the one on one. That's the thing with not baseline in there, like having him right on top of the, you know, they all got blocked. Yeah, not not it's looking a little good. I can't lie. Now that run stick was kind of ass because that looked like it could have been a crib shot too. Anytime you have their user running backwards, like oh shit. Yeah, that's not a good that's a, not, that's a good offensive play. But I think one of these plays, this fat guy just does nothing. Oh, he's in the way right there, though. <laughs> My man Henry was out. He was 20 yards running away from Zeke. <laughs> like, uh, there's no point in even doing that because that you have no. Tackle him, yeah. You not <laughs> he got blockers and he got all these abilities and you got Westry. Yeah, you might as well. That's awful. You might as well just just go for just try to be aggressive as possible. Really. So now we're going back with the fat guy motioned over there. That's a play you where tell he me do he's shit. not blocking nobody. Right there, this dude didn't do shit. Definitely out in front to play before. Oh, the play before he got some people. <laughs> he wasn't Lane Johnson. Like, Lane Johnson, dude, they used him like he was the best player in the game. He was just yeah, throwing was people. Sure. Then, he's, then they're like, oh, do this on weekend league. I can't. Jesus Christ. It is tough to see Lane Johnson actually super hell. No, oh, he got somebody right there. Oh, I and I'll tell you this, I'd be pissed right there that my glowing ass Zeke didn't run right through Anthony Brown, right? Uh man, I just I think he's just I just was tired. He, he just ran me down. I don't think there's much. I'm not talking about I mean, but I feel like if he's glowing, right? We got we got take over. He should he should get an automatic bro tackle on Anthony Brown. That's how I feel. And right here. Oh no, I really teams. wasn't mad because I knew I was, I feel like I I feel like I was gonna score. Oh, you start pounding. Start pounding. This wing flex. He yeah. didn't like it. Pollard's a dog. Well, Westry isn't a dog. I mean, and you love Westry, but man. 
Maybe, especially when you get that close to the red zone, maybe we go with somebody else that got a little bit better tackle, a little bit better hit power. I need Lester out there. Inside the 20 in that situation? Lester be banging. All right. By the time he, he, shit the, he shit the bed on that run. Look at this. Dude, them dudes got fucking moved. Holy shit. Yeah, run blocking's too good. Like, all these guys just got absolutely pounded. Yeah, Western should have been on there. All right, so we up? Or are we tied right now? Tied, yeah. That's what I'll be feeling. Stop stop the sweep. I really had a I had a pretty smart idea of what I was gonna do. Are we are we are we tossing the man coverage out the out the window right now? Or how are we feeling about What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out on a DB sting and then I'm gonna audible to cover one so my linebackers still come down, but I got the the, the nickels close, you know, and I got the nickels tight. Okay. Or not not the nickels tight, but I got the I got both of the nickels on, on the side where he'd be running to. Now why don't you just come out and cover one? Because my linebackers when it came down to the line of scrimmage. Okay. okay. And I wanted to blitz him. Now we get third down third and two is, is the play that I don't want to say wins it, but third and two yeah. is uh I just he I just knew he wasn't gonna run sweep because I had the extra guy over there. So I just figured, you know, at least force him to have a good play, you know what I mean? I don't want him to just. I don't want him to just run the ball here. Now I feel this play. We go. This play with, was honestly. Was just, I feel like this was kind of bad by him because I didn't really get through, and I feel like he could have found somebody. I think he had the corner. Well, obviously, you gave up the streak, but I guess you. That was your man, really. And we had now we have Byron on over here. Is that any reason why you have Byron over on the left side? Was it like I'm playing man? If I put Byron over yeah, there, he's like, going to lock up that side. I don't got to worry about it. I just, I just really wasn't thinking about it. Like I knew uh, I was running man, so it's just like. There you go. Maybe next time, if Byron's yeah. over there, we can completely forget about that receiver. Really, especially if it's Tavon Austin, as you see him taking his damn money at the. And I guess he did have that corner route, but I guess he got to him a little bit. A lot of times, passing, you're anticipating something, and if it's not there right away, and this is my favorite part. That's where the sack. Fourth and six. Clock is moving. He's going for it. Everyone's on their feet. They're going nuts in this place. The whole crowd, the whole building. That shit was tough to me. Just how this shit started. Just everybody started getting hyped. Now, me, if I'm playing you, you got a little bit crazy on the last play, right? Not too crazy. I'm thinking you're gonna get crazy right here. Like just blitz people, just cross man, put some zone, just do some wild shit. I was, I think it's kind of obvious. I'm, at least it's, it should be obvious. That I'm running zone here. You know what I mean? Because I think, the guy isn't over there anymore. Yeah, Byron's now on the yeah. right side. Yeah. Oh, you did switch Byron. Now I wouldn't even look at that. I would just look at the fact both DB, both nickelbacks are right there. Ready yeah. To blitz. Okay. So now it's not man coverage. I hope they go back to the regular ass. Yeah. So. I would think, if I was playing, I would think you were getting wild, maybe blitzing seven and having a, a, two clouds and a yellow zone, something like that. Is there any, So what's really the thought defensively here? I think I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm I'm glad he's going for it. You know, it's scary, but at the end of the day, it's like. Yeah, the whole, gonna, the whole game comes down to one play. You know the game's yeah. over if you get if you, if you stop him here, pretty much. Sure. It's cooked. I'm just, I'm just thinking, honestly, in, in these situations, I feel like in this game, you don't really have to get too crazy because mm -hmm. you don't want to lose. You can still not lose the game, even if you give this give up. Give up the first down. Yeah, you can give yeah. up 10 yards and still be yeah, because of the time. He's, he's got to call timeout. Like, it's just way, way different than other years. Mm -hmm. So I'm really just thinking, let me just play semi-safe defense, but I'm still trying to get a stop. But I just don't want to give up no big plays where he's already in field goal range and I just lost. So, you know. No, you just, don't want to go too crazy because really, if, if you give up a streak, it's game over. Yeah, and, and fourth and six, I think that's one of the toughest. You know what I mean? It's like borderline. You can't really throw a drag versus a cloud. But you, but you might try it. You yeah. know what I mean? And you might get a stop because he tries it. And I feel like but if you I, give him that, he has to try that, really. Exactly. So I'm just thinking, you know, just like I said, I'm playing decent defense, not getting too crazy just because I don't want to give up a touchdown. Okay. Now – now I feel like he put out the worst play possible. This was a pretty bad play. 
Like, in my opinion, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm terrible at passing, but I feel like this was a, this wasn't a, a good play call. I, think I don't it, really I think know what one thousand percent a play call for Mo is going to blitz the shit out of me. Yeah, but who's he going to throw to even if I do like the hitch on the left or the curl on the left, the curl in the middle, the slant. Well, if I'm blitzing the everybody. The I promise you, my corner's in a cloud. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's what I thought, and that's why. I, and people said you've been better off if he thought you were going to blitz everybody. He'd be better off with three streaks on the field. Yeah, and find somebody. So yeah, I mean he has a, a flat like he, he route here. On that curl on the left, maybe like a low ball, but it would have been scary. I don't throw this left, yeah, but that, that's a cloud or that's a purple, whatever it is, and there's really nobody. And then you got a slant on the other side, you know. Yeah, I don't, that that no, the, that's verticals. I don't know why his guy ran his route like that, but that is verticals. Like I had no chance of getting open. Ooh, really? Yeah. Did he get? Jesus Christ. But, I mean, stock cover three just absolutely in the clutch. Stock yeah. cover three. Damn, that, was cover, that wasn't a slant? No, verticals. No fucking way. He'd been better off with stock verticals. Yeah, it was verticals. Jesus. So, damn. Yeah, that was a rough play. That he put out there for the for the game, and I, I tell you, he probably thinking about that damn two curls and, and a out route. Jesus, for a long time he thinking about that play. What he finally got is at the end of the game that Henry. Oh no, he he got a little another ad. Yeah, I need a first down. Not me, you do, but shit. Is there any any chance in this situation you ever pass the ball? No. Blink and Zeke, no chance. I can't lie, you kind of start popping. You're right, you did start popping with the. Oh yeah, bye look, bye. Look, I tell him. I said I got him. I said I got him. I said I got him. Let's go, baby. I said that before I even snapped the ball. And Zeke said, with 59 seconds to go. Everything was backed. Nothing was open. First and ten. A first down would be huge. Got it, got it. And he's got the first one free ability active. And Zeke says, give me that. And he lays down. Oh, so you saw him on the on the left I side? Saw him on the field. It was like a, wow. Just, yeah, if you don't have your user. That's the thing with these run defenses, dude. I, I, it's like your user or nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. Westry backed up. Gregory got popped. I might score there. Nah. It's over. It, like, it's definitely over. <laughs> now talk about how you glitched my man with the fake field goal. Huh? What do you mean? How you glitched my man? I don't know what happened. Came on a field goal. That'd be like, like that. My dude didn't get ice. I don't know what happened right there. Oh, yeah. Broken ass game. My man Henry, sick. What? You gonna make you gonna make an ice kick? I tell you that. At least I'm gonna try to. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about, man. That, that it's a skill gap to running. I learned that this this. How about it's just knowing to call the right play against the right defense. Still a lot of luck involved. Hey, why was dudes going cr like Henry was ready to quit, bro? Henry's gonna quit out the game if these motherfuckers don't. Tell him he can't basically. He's sick because he's just so sick. I, Bro, I, like let yeah. my dude quit though. Like let me just know I won. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, like it's no way I got people like saying he can't quit. What? That was nuts. I I felt like that was actually really wild. Not that it really mattered, but I mean my dude was definitely just ready to quit out the game. That's borderline coaching. That is coaching. Dude, hey, I'm not kidding. The ref came up behind him like, nah. He's sick though, dude. He's sick. Thinking about them two curls in the hour all right now. <laughs> Damn. So we know all the, and then he did the and then he did the show oh, yeah. jump too. Oh my god, that was relaxing. Yeah. But then you really ice my you really cheated my man for the game. That's crazy. Not uh, do we automatically know we're not gonna get iced? Is that like every time? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't get iced. Oh Jesus. Yeah, but that that was that was definitely a tough game. Uh, shoot. So what are we going to do with this belt? I don't know. I'm having them ship it to me, I guess. You're not going to frame it? You're not going to, like, like, 
I don't know. My mom probably probably wants to. I mean, I don't. Like I said, I really don't care about that stuff. Jeez. It's just not really my thing. Well, there you go. So, was this the? Would you say this is the toughest tournament you won out of like? Not even like majors, but I'm talking about like that you've won. Nah. I mean. No. Yeah, I mean, as far as, like, the amount of people, yeah, but I really felt like I was a lot better than almost everybody except for Henry and Kip, honestly. That's just the truth. Like, I just felt like we were we were just a step of – I mean, uh, joking them too, you know what I mean? They, they they were right, you know what I mean? They they, they just wouldn't have had a – like, joke, joke may have had a chance, like, after seeing me play Beast Mode, but if I would have played Joke at any point in the tournament before that, they, he wouldn't have got a stop either, you know what I mean? So – but but obviously Joke was just gonna run my my run defense. You know what I mean? So but the weak the weak eye, the weak weak whatever, weak blitz. Strong. Yeah, the strength yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have ran no no no, he runs the cover the cover for it, whatever. But yeah, I felt like I was just a lot I just felt like I was better. You know what I mean? Like that's why I said it like I really didn't have any tough games, like at all. I just felt super tough at the tournament, so that's why I would say it's it wasn't the hardest tournament. But obviously, with the amount of players, it was, you know what I mean? All right. So, let's talk about your game versus Beast Mode. Now, I feel like this was, like, the first game of a day of the day or something. Yeah, was and it? I didn't think, we didn't, at least I didn't think we were playing first. I thought we were playing second. But you did know you had to play Beast Mode. I did know, yeah, I knew. Okay, I did you, at, over the night, did y'all go home and practice against this Eagle shit? No. Y'all didn't practice? No. No, I just kind of... I'm not really like that. I just kind of had an idea of what I was gonna try, and you know, hope hopefully it works out. No, I honestly, I just, I honestly, I saw all this shit. I saw it when it was like over. But the main thing I want to talk about, cause you talk a lot of shit, right? Mm-hmm. Not, e- it's not even like shit talking. I feel like it's just like smart ass. I want to piss this guy off type shit. Well, did right? I say? I don't- did I say anything? I don't know. To just, him? I don't think I ever just said anything. Like, Jesus. Oh, that was a laser. DJ got a hold of that. God damn. What happened this game? I don't even think I watched this show like, until the end when this shit was over, over. I I just really just dominated him. Like, he had no chance of stopping me. Oh, yeah. My man. That's why my man can't text me. Yo, how do people fly there with no run defense? I was like, bro, this shit's easier said than done, really. But so like I said, you just say a lot of shit that would piss me off. It's right? just because like you know you know how they they rock, bro. They just think they're like so so well, much. Do, like, you know but they no, they might be a little worse. Bro, they might they let would me a little know worse when you see me fucking pounding like oh I'm so much more prepared. No, bro, you don't know if you're prepared till you get there. Motherfuckers weren't true. prepared, period. Not for me at least. <laughs> they this had no true. chance. Like no, I'm talking about this defense that they were running had no chance, and and it just felt good. You know what I mean? That's all that was like, and I was just letting it out. Like that that shit felt good. Point blank period. Like when okay. when I was playing him, it felt good. You know what I mean? Like to know that I was I was ahead of them. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So you was kicking the shit out of EMB, so it felt good. It was just because you know how they are. That's like oh yeah, you know Mo has no chance this game. You know before the game it's like oh he has no chance. And then he gets in the game, and every and play it looks like a, every play looks like I'm gonna score a touchdown. And it got dark. You know what I mean? Like they're saying, like, "Oh, this shit's gonna be bagged. All oh, this shit's gonna be bagged." And nah. it, it, like I said, it just wasn't close. I will tell you, as a man player, right? When you lose a game, you be sick. It really don't matter how you lose it. When you lose, you be sick, yeah. right? Yeah, always. And when someone talking shit, you be really mad at him. Like you be like, "Fuck this guy! I want to just beat his ass." That's how you. No matter who it is, like you be mad as shit. Yeah. But I feel like, one, if you lose the game, you already lost. You lost the game. If you show them that you, they got to you mentally, like, you that mad? Oh, man. I feel like, and for somebody that's capping how you, like, it just fuels the fire when somebody does that. When somebody shows you that you get into them or that they're mentally weak and that you win, oh, yes, exactly. It gives you, like, another, like I'm fucking winning on both fronts. I'm winning the game of mad and you super mad. Because... <laughs> And when you playing somebody, it's nothing better than getting them super mad. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. Now, I can remember I, when I played Joel. Because Joel, that type, just capped the whole fucking time. Sucks. Like, just was ass. Run the ball every play. 
Cap the whole time. Now, I'll tell you, I wanted to strangle the shit out of him during the game. Like, I wanted to just stroll my... He was just... I was pissed. Right? Yeah. But when the game over, I'm still pissed as shit. Right? You so you can't let him know that you pissed. I said, good game, man. Congratulations. I really... uh, I really wish him caught. Good luck the rest of the tournament. And just walk away. Because then it, it kind of like... They're already hype. But when you do that, it kind of like calms them down. So they yeah, can't keep... Was- you know what I mean? Like, for me, if I'm capping and you say, congratulations, good game, and walk, I'm like, damn, I really ain't even cap good. If he's not mad at me. But if you get up and walk, and don't shake their hand, oh, my God. I feel like that's, that's I'm really, happy That really took me a lot of, like, complete surprise, too, when he didn't shake my hand. Like, I didn't, I was like, I don't know. Like, okay, <laughs> is that supposed to mean something to me? That shit, you know I, what I mean? I feel like, like that's just the, the, the corniest thing you can do. Like, the it, corniest. I just didn't really, I didn't even really get it is the i guess is the best way to put it it's like i didn't right. i don't know why shake my hand because so. was sick and if i listen for i mean we're just he's still in the tournament though like and just, and honestly he lost the next game hey when but t- listen i'm telling you and then also when you don't shake somebody's hand it's kind of like you leave that emotion you leave that feeling open it doesn't close it. Shaking somebody's hand saying good game, that closes that feeling. It closes that disappointment. It closes that whole competition. That shit's over. Yeah. You know? And But by not shaking hand, you're thinking about that the rest of the day. Like, man, fuck Mo, man. I ain't shake his hand. That's all they're going to be talking about. I don't care. And then rather than thinking about your next game. Yeah. So I definitely, uh, definitely feel like that hurt him. And I feel like that's... Dude, I don't care what somebody say to me. I, I will always shake your hand after this. I, yeah, for I mean, me, like I said, I like when you I talk said, shit, I didn't, is, I didn't like, say anything to him during the game. Like I, I literally, like, you oh, can go back. I, yeah, I was really just speak like out loud. I, I I don't cap like these other corn balls. I'm not I'm not yelling in your face, bro. Like I I know like I I grew up in the correct era, in my opinion. Like we I know how to cap. It don't ever have to be anything more than the game. Like I ain't getting in nobody's face. Like I don't I don't I don't hate nobody. I don't want to hate nobody. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it just is what it is. We're just we're just playing the game, like, and, and but like I I feel like I keep it pretty respectful. I'm saying I'm saying you that they didn't they didn't expect that one like that that really hurt your feelings, bro. Like, like that that really got to you, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like I don't know. I I thought it like you said. I thought it was pretty corny. He didn't shake my hand. And what am I? I mean, what do I look like if I if I'm if I'm the person that does that? People would people would be going in on me still. Well, that's because you're not quiet. Huh. You know what I mean? Like some people not quiet. Some people quiet didn't get away with shit because don't nobody really hear from them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like all right, oh well. You know, but I, that's how I feel about competition. I feel like as long as you don't say bitch or pussy or suck my dick, those three things, you can say whatever yeah. the hell you want. Those three things, don't 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 say them shits to random people. You can only say them shit to people exactly. you know. Exactly. You can't even really do that. Yeah. You know what I mean, like. So, man, all right. So, what's next, man? Are you going like you're locked for the man bowl? What's that? Another five k guaranteed? I don't know. It's kind of weak, but. Yeah, but all right. So, are are we still a hundred percent? We going to get the salary cap thing going, or what? Oh yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play some salary. Cap. You going Cowboys? I don't know. I have to see weigh my options. I was going to do Patriots, but I think J Wall J Wall's doing it, bro. Do whatever Beast Mode doing, man. Nah, go. man. Beast Mode got it. But how much, to... like, because you a Cowboy fan. Yeah. Like, Beast Cowboy Mode, fan. Beast Mode making, not making the Madden Bowl don't do nothing for me. <laughs> no. But if you... If you know you, what I mean? Yeah. So, I, I've always I mean, felt that's like really, I've got to do... That's really the reason I would think about doing the Patriots, because if Skimmo's not the Madden Bowl, like, I know he's got a, a decent chance to win, and I'm free rolling, so it doesn't... You know what I mean? Obviously, that's the biggest tournament, but still, like... Skimbo, yeah, yeah. Skimbo's gonna be one of the toughest people, no matter what. Even if he's not not great at the game, so yeah, for sure. Like but at the same the time, offense. because and that's a good angle to take. I'm already there. Who can I knock out, man? But at the same time, the club series where all the money at. Yeah, exactly. It makes so it tough. it's like it's like it's more it's, it makes more sense to go get the money than to worry about man bowl because you you could get, make a big run in man bowl or or in a, the club series and. Get knocked out the first first round in Madden Bowl. Who gives a shit? You know, really, money wise. Yeah. You know, at this point, when you got a belt, it's like, can I make? I want to make you know two hundred thousand dollars this year, really. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm probably gonna do like I'm gonna do whatever I think is like the easiest club slash division. Uh, 
you know, I feel mm-hmm. like, you know, like representing these clubs, they ain't really doing nothing for you, at least not yet. So that's true. All right. So, I mean, shoot. All right. Well, congratulations, man. We had a good. All right. Now, when we went out, I mean, who disappointed you the most when we went out? I'll ask you that question. I mean, I'm just looking at the turnout power rankings, and I think we can go ahead and pencil Clef in as at the bottom of the list. Oh, he's not at the bottom. Who's at the bottom? First of all, it's people we didn't see. The, the people that didn't come out got to be below Clef. Right? Oh, okay. But I'm talking about the people that oh, the actually... people that went. Oh yeah, Clef definitely. The people that went out that <laughs> night. Oh yeah, Clef all the way at the bottom. It's a whole, it, bro. It, it's pe- it's almost people that didn't go out that are higher than Clef. <laughs> That's how bad Clef was. But I, I'll give Clef this. Uh, it was. I mean, it was a long weekend, bro. Like I was exhausted. It was a long too. weekend. He did go out the night before. Y'all didn't go out the night before. He was in the mix with us the night before. Yeah, I didn't even. I didn't want to go out the night I went out. Yeah, see, but <laughs> I was uh, last uh, last minute. Yeah, but I, Crush definitely. Uh, he surprised me. Crush definitely turned up. Crush is moving up the power rankings as a man player. I'll tell you oh, that. God. He my, Crush might be the the you know the, the he got, might have every every attribute. I'm gonna just keep. I'm gonna keep my comments to myself. See, Crush was out there. He don't know how to smoke hookah for shit. Or tip strippers. He don't know how to do one, but he's learning. You know, you're not just going to hop in the mix and know all the moves. You know, you got to learn them shits. Like, he would have the hookah, and we're, we're smoking hookah. One, he don't know about the tip with the hookah, so you got to put your own tip in. Okay, he, I taught him that. Pause. Own tip in that kind. But then he would just take the hose, and then he would just, like, throw the shit on the ground and walk around and shit. Like, he was on another level. He went past the hose. He would just throw it on the ground, get up and walk around. Then oh, so he didn't know. Y'all went to the strip club? Yeah. Oh. See, that's what happens when you when you just disappear after the one little club disappear. So he don't know how to smoke hookah. No, he don't know how to tip strippers because he didn't touch the strippers. Now this is something a lot. T. Davis is another one doesn't know how to touch strippers. But we'll, we'll get into that in, in, in power rankings part. But I said, man, uh, I do want to hear. I do want to hear some power rankings. Oh, you want you want to be in here for the power rankings talk? Yeah. Okay, say no more. But first, we gotta talk about Honda books. Because I before I get killing Bugs, chat, because I don't want to kill Bugs anymore. Bugs played some good football this weekend. He did. But god damn he did some dumb shit. <laughs> like he did some off the like he did some dumb shit that like there, there's not there's not a kid that plays weekend league that would do the dumb shit that Bugs did. But I will tell you. Boogs played some good John Madden football. Do you agree with this, Mo? Yeah, he played good John Madden football up until he ran cover two. All right, all right, all right. but we're not we're not going to talk about that. Right. Actually, we are going we're going to talk about that in great detail. <laughs> in great detail, because I'm gonna be honest, the passes really didn't fight this tournament for me. They really didn't. Kid mm-hmm. fought. Kid looked pretty good. Uh, I think, but. I, Books had pretty good run defense. Although, I, did he just give that up? Jesus. And he went for a pick. Now, this is... I didn't know he gave this up right here. This uh, one play touchdown on the wheel route. Because this is going to play a factor into the reason why Books did the dumbest shit in the world. Now that I think about it. Because I didn't know he gave... Because I, I didn't watch the beginning of this game. I didn't know he gave this up. It's five two this week that you can blitz everybody and nobody get any pressure. Jeez. Yeah, I did. I kept seeing that you just blitzing seven and just having no chance. Oh, so let's remember that he gave up the wheel route for a touchdown, literally with nobody else over there. I, I what? Like he didn't have a streak to run off the safety here. This is a pretty hell wheel route. I guess this guy might be in a quarter rather than a deep half. Maybe. I don't know. But, okay, so. He, if he did that, now we're going to fast forward because Bugs actually played some, he played really, I, I thought he played really good. I thought he was going, I, I haven't played him with the Niners in this 5-2. I, I really haven't, so I didn't know what he was doing. Um, but it, it looked pretty good. And as far as, as far as um, play, people playing against Joke, I, he, I think he played the best. Yeah. As far as offense and defense especially. I thought his defense was good. It was different than everybody else's run defense. So that might have thrown a joke off a little bit. It wasn't 3-4. I feel like everybody else was in 3-4. So I think, I don't know how, how he scored in here. I'll just a little run. Boston Scott getting busy. 
But then we get to here. I think Boogs actually punts the ball. Yeah. yeah. Boogs gets to a situation where you should punt 1,000%. You know, he, he throws a joke. And, and it looks bad when he throws a joke, these couple plays. But they're kind of plays where you kind of just got to throw the ball. Just to, you know, you give yourself a chance to get some points. Because there's like 20 seconds left. He's got one timeout. And he uses his last timeout. So the only way is he's got to cook a dot and kick a field goal, really. This is Ghost. This is Ghost's run. People really just claim the shit out of shit. I love you guys, man. One day I want to be good enough to claim claim something. So, all right. So, and this is uh, apparently the 2-3, two, 2-4-6 two, coverage defense. But anyway, I feel like you have to throw the ball to somebody here. I and mean, he throws right at Kittle, and then he punts. All right, let's punt. Boom, fourth and five. You have to punt because if you don't get it, he's got an easy field goal pretty much because he has three timeouts. And if you do get it, you're going to be hard-pressed to get a field goal pretty much anyway. You know, unless you kick a dot in the middle, it's going to be hard-pressed for you to get points here. So, And you get the ball at half, you're cool. You know, so... Now, I thought Joke did some dumb shit too. Oh, yeah, he could have kicked a field goal. Yeah, and, uh, but on top of that, all right, second and three, Damn. I mean, come on. We got. Go. I can't lie. I can't, might need Boston Scott to put that on the ground. Jesus Christ, yeah. that was the best dive defense I saw all tournament. Holy hell! No, it's just. I mean, but and then I feel like all right, we're gonna get the half. Bugs get the ball. He's not playing terrible, but then he busts this run because I don't know where Bugs went here. Oh yeah, I'm. Not, I'm trying to figure out we're not already in quarter three D. Okay, for sure. All right, now this forty two yard line. Plus 10, 52, plus 7 is 49 yards, or 59 yards. The Eagles have the same damn kicker as the Cowboys. Jake Elliott has 97 nice. kick power. You can 100% make this field goal, right? Yeah, Even if you can't make this field goal, because maybe you don't know if you can make the field goal, right? You can come out and field goal and look at it because you still have a timeout, right? Mm-hmm. And if you can't make it, call timeout and go run your play. I'm thinking watching this game, damn, Bugs really let him get a three, right? I'm like, fuck, okay, now we down ten now we down ten. Or yeah, we down ten and a half, but it's alright, we get the ball. So if he comes out that fast and calls his play, I'm like, all right. One, I'm still in five. So like you said, three deep or or any two man under, I would be in backed up. Right? That's but I mean, what the hell are they gonna do? Now he goes for this. Where the Gosh. fuck is your user going? <laughs> Went to the wheel. And it I think it goes back to the first half. When he caught that touch, or the first quarter when he caught that touchdown on the wheel, but Jesus Christ, like, cause B just doesn't exist. Like, is this? He just don't see B. Like, my man's user, he not even baiting. He's not even, bro. He is <laughs> sprinting. Like, he know y'all ain't real, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what? What? Two clouds. Oh my God, dude. Now, I want to say he got caught by surprise. I want to see how fast Joke snapped this ball. I really do. But he motioned somebody out. So, it could, like, dude, it couldn't have been that. Okay, one, two. I mean, he's not getting quick snapped. He's clearly in down here. Why is he this close to the line? <laughs> Bro, this was the worst. Y'all can't find me a worst defensive play call in the history of, Matt, of MCS. I'm just trying to think about the worst defensive play calls. In the that was the worst. Then, then, then he started whispering, no pressure. I got no pressure. Like, what type of pressure were you trying to... Bro, this was so bad. And I can't lie to you guys. Skimbo ain't answered a text message from me all weekend because he knew because he he knew he was, he knew was I was going to ask him to go out, right? <laughs> so, Skimbo ain't answered a text all weekend. But as soon as this happened, he said, I hate this motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, yeah. this was... Look at his user is fucking out. Like, <laughs> what? Yo, this was the worst. Oh man, and you talking? You can't play that. You can't be playing that good and then do some shit like that. Like that was rough. But then I'll go back to another noob thing that he did, which I, I I'm not gonna kill it that much. But he definitely no huddled for the game. Yeah, that was that was a rough ass play. But Bugs has been ass on defense this whole like not even, like ass on defense. I think it would. This, this was just ass. I feel like you got a stiff arm right here. 
And he just tried to do some janky ass truck with Juice Check. And Avante Maddox, man. Like I said, when you have dreads in Madden, you are tough. And the Eagles' whole secondary has dreads. Now, Bugatti Bugs was definitely, it was definitely Honda Bugs right now. Now, I will tell as we talk about when we went out, he definitely, he he, he might have elevated to like, he, he might be Cadillac Bugs. Hey, that ain't bad. No, yeah, that's not bad. It's not Bugatti, but he might be Cadillac Bugs after that. I, I, honestly, I haven't heard from him since that day as we do another flat pass in the zones. And he no sure. huddles right here. The, the no that. huddle. The noob no huddle. All right, you say all the time, got to get your best play on the field. Yeah. Got to get your – now, obviously, his best play is probably in the audibles. But I believe he comes out here and quick snaps him again. Yeah, this play was pretty bad. And he, I guess he went to man. I guess it's a straight man across the board and got super bagged. It is a straight man across the board. He got the running back and could have thrown to anybody else on the, on the block. He throws to anybody else on the block. So first down. Jeez. So and that's how he lost the game, man. I mean, honestly, probably the I don't want to say the best books has looked in a long way because he did make a run last year in the uh, in the man challenge, but he looked pretty good this weekend. You know, yeah. to, to to do some shit like that. Lord Jesus, man. What, what and I said that what do you think about one of your what's your worst defensive call ever? Do you like know that off the top of your head? I mean it's gotta be versus Clef. I mean, but it was like more of a hindsight thing. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, when he hit the two post routes down the middle yeah. of the field? Alright. Yeah. I mean that's dude, that isn't was, as close as ever to Yeah, it was just kind of a tough I was just kind of in a tough spot. Really. Yeah, you couldn't give up shit. Yeah. yeah. That was tough. But but that 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 was definitely a uh, a rough rough way to go out for for Honda Bugs. But as we get into the turn up, now I'll tell you guys, I got there Thursday. The only day I saw Skimbo, because I told him, you know what I told him. Hey, Skimbo didn't kick it. No, only only Thursday. Um, we went to the game. I bought. I had to buy him a ticket. To the Cowboys game to see Skimbo because he's like afraid to go out now. That's Skimbo is so like if there were power ranking, Skimbo is like I, he might crack the top hundred, dude. That's that's how it's rough right now for him. And uh, but like I said, I didn't see him. I saw him Thursday, and um, we went to the Cowboys game. Now Mo, I'll tell you, like I said, nobody checked me all weekend. Nobody said anything. I had the Eagles shirt Shut on up. all in Cowboys. They didn't say anything to me. I didn't get booed. I didn't get heckled. You know, the Cowboys fans, I'm a little bit soft down there in Dallas. I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the stadium was awesome. I would love to go there for the Eagles game, man. That would be awesome. Um, So I paid my six bucks to get into the stadium. Definitely cool. Skimble did not come out after that. I met my man Sterling. I didn't know Sterling before this. He came up to me and said, W, I play mad. I'm ready to kick it. I said, all right, you're on the team. Let's go. He, and instantly he passed Skimbo in the power ring. He's my man Sterling. Boom, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I did leave Sterling with a tab, though, and I didn't mean to do this. I can't get into too many details about what happened, but <laughs> I was at the bar, disappeared. Sterling, and I look up when I wake up in the morning, and Sterling's like, yo, did you leave? This lady said you didn't pay your tab, but he paid my tab for me. So he once again, he moved up the power rankings a little bit. <laughs> paid him back the next day, but I did leave him with a tab. And then uh, that was Thursday night. What, what did it say? Friday. I think it was. It might have been. That might have been Friday. No, it was Thursday. Damn, it was a lot of nights I was out there. So then, uh, yeah, Sterling moved out the power rankings. Um, what the hell? So Friday night was the first night of the tournament. I think I tapped out Friday night. I want to say, or I was on the Rico. I was on the Rico plan Friday night. Where the fuck was I? Friday night's the night you went to the game. No, the game was Thursday. Preseason game was Thursdays. Uh. So Friday night. I know what I did Saturday night. Friday night. What the? I knew what, I was with Rico. The Rico. What is the Rico? Oh, I was with Vilma all Friday. That's what happened. And the problem being with Vilma is, oh, the, I don't know how he does. Like I made a tweet that Vilma played bugs, and Vilma is my most unhealthy friend. 
literally all he do all day is just drink and smoke. It's like nonstop. It really <laughs> is nonstop. Like he don't just get high for like an hour. No, he roll a blunt, smoke, and then we be in there high, and he be like, all right, let's roll another. Like it's nonstop, literally. So. Bro, and these motherfuckers... First of all, he drive everywhere so so he can bring all this weed. That's what he does. Like, literally. People are like, damn, why film a job? So he can bring five bags of weed and smoke the whole... That's why. Boom. Oh, that's he, hold on, he drove to Texas? Yes, drove to Texas, drove to Vegas, drove <laughs> to Jacksonville, drove everywhere. If it's a tournament, he's driving. Literally. That's why he drives. So, he gets there... Well, mind you, I'm I'm by myself because everybody's in the venue. So I'm like, bro, I'm I'm sick, like sick. When I'm in the, in the little hotel, but I'm sick because all y'all in this shit, I got nobody to kick it with. Rico, like, yo, go 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 kick it with my girlfriends or go kick it with my homie. I'm like, bro, I don't want to kick it with this random chick. I don't want to kick it with this random dude. I don't know them. So the whole time, as soon as Vilma get, I'm like, yo, what's up, man? Come scoop me, man. So uh, he scooped me, but the the, the my, Vilma and his boys, man, they just spent all the money on weed and Hennessy. That they trying to find the cheapest hotel in the whole joint, right? So they go to the Super 8 first. He said, it smelled like piss. I got out of there instantly. Then he went to this shit called, yo, it was called the DFW Hotel or some shit like that. <laughs> Bro, that shit, first of all, it looked like the Shining's Hotel. Dead ass, the Shining. This, oh my God, I wish it has pictures. It's got to have pictures online. I'm going to try to find it. But this this thing has not been updated since 1975. It was so bad. It was obnoxious. He was like, yeah, I got a, you know what I'm saying? I got a nice uh, hotel down here for the, uh, for $68. I'm like, dude, I, I hope to God they have pictures of this place. Y'all, uh, y'all will not understand this hotel. It was so obnoxiously bad. And it, first of all, then it was a hike away from the venue. Like, it's it like... 30 minutes. I feel like everywhere in Texas is just a 30 minute drive. Boom. The DFW hotel is killing the me. DFW. I'm telling you, that's what it's called. Dallas Fort Worth Hotel. This place was disgusting. Dude, I'm talking 1970. The lobby, it was like a lobby, right? Like any lobby. But one, they had all these fake plants in there. They had like a water fountain that from 1975. They had mini golf in the middle of the. Now that seems cool, right? Mm-hmm. But they didn't touch this mini golf since 1993. All the, all the, the turf is all pulled up. The, the the holes, I swear, they just made the holes out of like a chisel and a hammer. Dude, it, it was the worst shit in the world. So that's where he was staying. So we drive there. I'm telling you, the DFW Hotel, I, I, dude, I don't know why. I'm trying to find, but I'm telling you, it was so obnoxious. It really, everything was from 1970, and it was never updated, ever. And um, so we go there. He shows me the room. I'm like, bro, take me out. It really was like The Shining. If you could pick, if any of y'all seen The Shining, that's what the shit was like. And I wish there was like a, uh, I guess they really don't. They probably don't even have a website. I don't know how he found this shit. He, I told him he Googled, I'm homeless. I need somewhere to stay tonight. That's what they Googled. And that's what they found this. And the pool, bro, they had an indoor pool and an indoor hot, uh, indoor hot tub. And it was just dirt on the bottom of the shit. Like, you could see right through it, and it was, like, bugs flying on, leaning on top of it. No, it's called the DF, the, the Dallas-Fort Worth Hotel. That's what it's called. They was so, the DFW Hotel was so, it was so bad. I'm like, it wasn't even, like, dirty. It was just scary. It really was scary. <laughs> like, I've never been in some place where I felt uncomfortable, scary-wise. And that's where I was for So, we go there, and then Vilma need gas. And he pulls up to this gas station that looks like 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 Leatherface himself works at this gas station. I, I, this is why I chat. I ask you guys: Have y'all ever been to a gas station where you literally can't play with a card? Like literally can't play with a card. Not that it's broken. Not, what? but the little the pump has no place to put a card. Like, dude, I didn't even know these places existed anymore. Normally, it's the opposite. Like, there's if it's gonna be weird, it's normally you like you have to like go pay cash or pay with a card right now. Yeah, and it's like so th- they have gas pumps that have no. You can't put a card in the shit. Like, and and this is, and the only booth said, knock on shed for service. <laughs> oh, I, shit. I swear to God, it was just a shed. It was like, knock on shed for service. I'm like, bro, you got to have some more miles left in this little ass tank. I was scared. <laughs> I'm like, yo, get me out of this shit. Like, somebody going to run out. Mind you, it's four of us in the car. He has a charger. I, I'm in the back I, seat. I can't I move. Know 
chilling too. Like. Yeah. He's like, man, it's cool. I got any gas. I'm like, Vilma, yo, yo, you got to know that you got like a couple more miles out of this little E right now. You got a couple. Everybody knows like E doesn't really mean E. It means like you got to get yourself some gas. Like hurry up. Just start thinking about getting gas. Like, dude, I'm telling it was a 70s scary movie. I'm like, yo, this is some Leatherface shit right here. I'm in the backseat. My knees are up. Again. I can't move. If Leatherface come out with a chainsaw, I'm the first one getting cooked. Because I'm not getting out of that backseat. It's over for me. I'm like, bro, get me out of this shit. I'm, my seat is right next to this gas pump. I'm like, dude, this is not it. He's like, yo, I need gas. Because you, you know when the car driver starts saying they need gas, then they really need gas. Because the, yeah. the owner of the car knows what E really means. So he kind of knew... What he really means, and I'll tell yeah, this Dallas Arlington shit is half of it looks like it was built yesterday. The other half looks like it was built fifty years ago, and that that's pretty much what this gas station looked like. And I'm like, yo, you gotta pull out of this gas station. So eventually, we left that gas station. What the fuck else did we do? Then we went to the, these assholes. Where do we go? I want to say Chick Fil A. Yeah, we went to Chick Fil A or some shit. Got something to eat. Mind you, smoking every 30 minutes is another blunt. I don't know where the hell they get to. And it's the other thing about Vilma. Bro, he smokes so much and rolls the worst blunts ever. Like, them joints be like this. Like, just sloppy as shit. And he just slobbers all over the joints. Like, they are so nasty. I cannot watch him roll a blunt and smoke the blunt. It can't happen. If I see him ah, la, 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 drooling all over the shit, I'm good off of his blunt. I'm cool. Like, that's it. I'm done. I don't know how it's that bad, but it's really that bad. For a man that literally smokes 27 times a day, he can't roll a blunt for shit. He like, it was good. Then he said, this is the worst part. He said, you just got to dry it out a little bit. My man put that shit on, on the dashboard for three minutes. He said, it's dry. That's what cut. He hold the blunt and go like this. <laughs> like, no, that's not it. I don't know how he does it. <laughs> Bruh, like, it's so bad, man. Oh, my God. Oh my and they just God. don't stop. One, one, my man Martin just poured the drinks. Vilma's just rolled the blunts. And then they had Whitey, who just don't do nothing, just drive. Which is kind of hell. I didn't realize how clutch it is to have somebody that don't smoke or drink, but just drives everywhere. That's kind of, like, so he has a built-in driver, a built-in bartender, and he just do the smoking part. So this is their squad. Yeah, this is their squad. So and I'm just the, I'm just the white guy that just sits in the back and rides with them. Like, let's go. So then oh, so we eat and then Vilma had to go back and play. That's when I was so then then I go to the venue. This is the first time I go to the venue. And that's why I see a couple people and uh so now it's Whitey and Martin. Those are Vilma's two friends. Whitey looks like Marge Simpson. He got curly hair and he's light skinned, and Martin is just a, a black guy. He that, that like Martin is just a black guy. And then you have Marge Simpson looking Mar uh, whitey. So then I leave my phone in the car, right? Because my phone is dying. Uh, let me charge my phone. Leave my phone in the car. These dickheads said they're going to go park at the venue. Because parking at the venue was like $10, right? But I wanted to kick it outside because I'm seeing people that I ain't seen in a long time. I wanted to just kick it outside. So they went and parked the car. So I go looking for my phone. These assholes done took the car with my phone. And we got to go <laughs> fix a flat. They got, if mind you, it's 8 o'clock at night on Friday. They have to go fix a flat out of nowhere. They just take my phone. I have no idea how to get it. But my man Sterling, he said, Dubby, why don't you just call your phone? They're going to pick it up. I'm thinking to myself, if my homie puts his phone next to me and some random number calls it, are you guys picking that phone up? Mo, are you picking the phone up if you're, if say you were a kid and he leave his phone right next to you, right? Never. Are you picking the phone up? Never. Waiting for a text at least. Okay. What if it calls four times? I'm going to probably pick it up. Okay. These motherfuckers picked it up the first time. <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Fuck Dubby's privacy. You don't know who's calling Dubby. It could be the hooker from last night. It could be some man that he owed money. They picked it up the first time. Like, yo, what up? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, like, yo, what? Yo, these guys is airheads. I swear to God, bro. That's my gang, but yo, they picked it up on their first. Yo, that shit rung instantly. It rung instantly. Oh, yo, what up? Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, what up? This Vilma. I got W. <laughs> <laughs> like, we went to fix the flat. Like, yo, like, yeah, that's their phone. Like, what? It's not like I had his number saved or anything. It was just some random ass Texas number calling. They that's picked just, that shit up the first that's time. The fucking, that's just the gang's phone now. That's yeah, target. that's everybody's phone. I'm like, yo, where you at? <laughs> yo, I went to fix a flat. My, I'm thinking it's Friday night. It's 8 o'clock. Where the fuck are they going to find somebody to fix a flat? Like, I'm thinking, and first of all, these two guys, I, I mean, it's not like they're mechanics. It's not like they, they don't have jobs. It's not like they know what, you know, working <laughs> men do. I'm thinking to myself, like, who the fuck is working here at, at 8 o'clock at night on Friday? So they come back, yo, fixed all three. I'm like, who the hell did you find? <laughs> He's like, it was $80 for all three tires. I said, oh, shit, okay. And I don't know what the hell I did after that. I know I wound up with Rico. Because at this at this time, nobody, everybody was still playing Madden. I wound up with Rico, and then Vilma hit me like, yo, downtown Dallas is lit. And uh, now I want to say, I, I want to say I went to dinner with Chow and Sterling, because we were still out there. Chow came out, let's go to dinner. We walked and got barbecue. Uh, came back. I, I really don't know what the hell I did. How I got back to the hotel, I don't remember. I wasn't even drinking. I'm going to figure it out before the end of the night. Before the end of the podcast, I'll figure out what the hell I exactly did Friday. But that's Vilma Squad. That, this, these are the guys I hang out with every tournament. Like it's like it, it's outrageous. <laughs> My man stupid or something. Yeah, but but seriously, like Ster- Sterling just he just came up. No, Sterling found me because he a Cowboys fan and he was at the game and I was talking shit on the tweets. And he's like, I'm coming to find you. What section you in? <laughs> like he wanted to he wanted to whip my ass. But he came up to the section. I'm like, yo, what's up? And he was just there. He was buying drinks and shit. So I'm like, all right, he's cool. Sterling's the man. He's the glitch. I'm telling you guys. You go to a man tournament, ask for Sterling. But then Saturday, what the fuck happened Saturday? Saturday, I know we went out with uh, Toronto. Um, the mayor, mayor of Dallas. The mayor of Dallas, Toronto, Madden champion Toronto, the mayor of Dallas. Um, but I want to say I did something during the day. Because I didn't have shit to do. I was just chilling. But uh, Vilma and them, because their hotel's so bad, they want to drive around and uh, look for new hotels. That's their mission. Let me find new hotels. Mind you, there's a college game. Auburn versus Oregon is right in town. So Auburn versus is right in town. So you're not going to find any hotels. But they didn't want to go back to the DFW hotel. Apparently, it was scary. They heard some wild shit. I'm telling you, it's definitely, it definitely creepy. But um, so we were driving around. Uh, long story short, it was me. Now, I, this isn't like a, uh, I'll tell you what, Vilma, Whitey, and Martin are complete airheads. Like, just space cadets. Maybe because they smoke all day. But these dudes are space cadets. Like, just like, just no sense of urgency of shit. Like, just no sense of urgency. Like, so, it's probably like 10 o'clock. I'm ready to go out. I hit up Toronto. Actually, probably Ryan did, uh, Ryan uh, Strafen. He probably hit up Toronto. Because I, I never met Toronto. So I'm yeah. like, all right, okay. He said he, no, Misery. That, Misery's a bitch. I hope he's in the chat. Because he's a bitch. He's the first one to hit me up. Because I was probably drinking at Texas Live, which is right up the street from the venue. Probably like a quarter mile. I'm sitting there drinking, chilling. He texts me out, yo, we going out tonight. What's up? Swizzy and Toronto said they got bottles. You know, me... I'm like, all right, let's go. That sounds good. I don't really have a plan, you know. I, and uh, somebody said they got the bottles already. Fuck it. Yeah. Go. So he said he got <laughs> the bottles. Misery's in here. Yeah. I, if he's in, he's a bitch. Cause he was the main one I was texting. Cause I don't I don't have a Swizzy number or Toronto. I don't like I know Miz. Like and I'm he hit me up like yeah I'm ready. Let's go. They said here and there. So I'm start texting everybody. I know that goes out. Carrie, um, what you call it? Uh, and and strafing. So you know strafing down. I'm ready. Let's go. And then uh, we go out to down. He go, he says, go to this place called Bottled Blonde. And you know me, I'm going I'm to do a little researching, right? So I start looking. I'm like, all right, this looks like a little sports bar. I don't know what's going to be popping. And I, I told Tyronto that. Because by this point, I have his number. Because I said, Miz, just give me his number. I want to talk logistics. Because I'm a logistic man. If I'm going to go out and go to a section, I want to I be there by 12 o'clock at the latest. I want to be, you know, I want to know yeah. what we're drinking. I want to know what the vibe is. Do I got to put a little button shirt on? Or can I wear my Phillies jersey? Can I be an asshole? What is the vibe? I want to know that. Look at it. It looks like a sports bar. So I tell Vilma and Whitey and Martin, gang, you know, my, my three space cadets. 
Because Vilma and Martin are always high, and Whitey's just like, I'm telling you, these three are like cartoon characters. Like, it's weird. You can't make this <laughs> shit up. Because Whitey, I don't know, Vilma and Martin are cool, but they always high. So it's, they already speak. But Whitey is got, like, bro, he's like Kelly Bundy. Swear to God. He is the, just the Kelly Bundy, like, uh. <laughs> so I hit them up. I said, let's be going downtown Dallas. Okay. But now I hit Clef up. So Clef, you coming out? Clef said, I'm riding. I had some. I think Clef had lost. I don't think Clef played on Sunday, so he ready to because I think he had just lost like the last game, so he yeah. was out. So he was ready to go, but he, you know, where Clef live or where he stay, right up by the DFW. He don't live in the DFW, but he lives in like a, a Airbnb right across the street. So yeah. it's my guy. It's one person. Let's go pick up Clef. Right. First mistake I made. Don't pick up. First of all, the the three space cadets. One, I'm not control. I'm they controlling GPS. They controlling everything. I swear to God, they make every wrong turn. So from 10 o'clock, by the time we get to Clef, and nobody called Clef. Mind you, my phone is still dead from early. I don't know what the hell. I had like an update on my phone. It didn't work for like a half hour. It was updating. And uh, I couldn't call Clef. So I'm like, Vilma, call Clef. Never calls him. We sitting outside Clef, little, the little black Clef lives on, for a good 45 minutes. Just chilling. I'm like, yo, did anybody call him? No. Oh, I text him. Then, then Clef. So <laughs> Clef, Clef is my fourth airhead. They, 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 they text Clef. My 40 minutes later, text, oh, I'm just seeing this. I'm coming out now. And he comes out. But he not, not do he, he don't come out right where we are. He all the way down the street. <laughs> so mind you, we don't get Clef until it's like 1230. Dallas downtown is a half hour away. Oh, my God. Then these airheads start driving, right? Mind you, I have a place to go, Bottle Blind. That's the spot I'm going to. I already know. But now it's five of us. So now I'm on the side. Now Clef, big ass head in the middle. Clef is like five seven though, so you know he can sit in the middle. It's not that big a deal. All right. So we're driving, going downtown. We get downtown, like where we're we going. So I have the GPS. I literally put it in my phone. Bottle blind. Give it to Whitey, who's driving. Complete airhead. He don't, he stopped following the GPS. Cause Vilma like, yo, we go this the strip we going to. We going down here. I told them, yo, just follow my GPS. This is where we going. But they make a whole nother plan. We going to a whole nother block. I mean, Vilma just want to look out the window and look at people. I said, bro, we got a bottle to go get. We got to go to the spot. So, might we go to the spot. Whitey, Marge Simpson, Airhead. We take White. Yo, boy, ass my playbook. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, my man hasn't been in here for 10 seconds. Like, he ain't been here in 10 seconds. <laughs> Yo, what's your playbook? Like, What? <laughs> I'm really not that good, dude. Like, seriously. You can pick any playbook. Like, god damn. Catch a vibe for 30 seconds. But anyway. Like, yo. So, then we finally get to this spot. Ain't nowhere to park. This is why I Uber. If I go downtown, I'm going to Uber. I don't care if it's $100. I'm going yeah. to Uber because it's a million times easier. But anyway, we have Whitey. So, that's cool. Let's have Whitey. And we just all get out on Whitey. All right? We just let go park. He like, all right. Oh, God. Yeah. Park. So we leave him. He never now, made now, it I, now, club, yeah, No, I'll tell you this. This place was popping. This place was, I'm, like, it was like Vegas. That shit was popping. And oh, I had really? the guy, Toronto. He come out and get us. We all walk in there. Don't pay shit. Walk in there. Section, middle of the section, all these bottles of Tito's. And that's when I saw Jag. And I said, tonight's <laughs> going to be a good night. Jag is already <laughs> lit. And for some reason... For some reason, Jag is the most lit in the club, but they continually just give him the most liquor. I, I don't under, I, we can't even blame Jag anymore. Like, literally, he is already gone. By the time I get in there, he's gone. Somehow he has two bo two baskets of claws. He like, yeah. He's on everything moving. He's the man, right? So he keeps drinking. We want, we're probably in there for probably an hour because we only had an hour left. So then, like, I'm telling you, like, 10 minutes left to the club call. Here go Whitey calling my phone. Damn, he really made it. I, mind you, I'm thinking when we left him, no, he ain't going to find nowhere to park. He's not going to make it in the club. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't want to go back out there and get him. Because one, I don't know nobody here. I don't want to have to. And Tyronto, like I said, I don't really know him that well. I can't be like, yo, I want to get some other guy in. Because he already done got 20 fucking dudes in the club. Like, yo, yeah. come get this other guy in. Like, I don't really want to do that. So, honestly, between me and you guys, I'm hoping Whitey doesn't make it. And on top of that, right, Whitey is Vilma and Martin friend more than he's my friend, right? So, yeah, so it, really it's not really my responsibility, right? It's not to get him in the club at 140. It's not my responsibility. 
But I don't want to say. But he's calling my phone because obviously <laughs> Vilma and Martin have not answered. So I'm like, shit. What do I do? And Chad, I'll ask you guys. What would you do? Do you ignore him? My man is the sober one. He drove he us all the way to, down here. You know what I'm saying? He might need to get the text. Like we're about to come out. <laughs> no, and this is what you do. You send a text, right? Making it seem like you're trying, right? Like, yo, yeah, I got you. My bad. The, the cleft text. My bad. Just saw this. <laughs> Mind you, you saw it 15 minutes ago, but you hit him with the cleft text. It's like shit. Now I'm thinking, bro, if I was that person, I'd be sick, dude. And I'm thinking, bro, I can't just leave my man out there, dude. I really can't. So I get Toronto. We go get we go get Mars Simpson. He get in. You know what I'm saying? He in now. Okay, boom. So now what happened? So now we're in the club. Toronto has some bitches. And he just starts jetting out the club. Now you know me. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep up. So I, that's why I'm trying to run. But mind you, he knows where the hell he's going. Like, it's, it's, it's different when you're in a club or a bar you've been in before. Like, you know where every little step is. Every little, you might trip here. You got to watch out for this. He's out. I mean, him and these bitches are doing a beam. I'm like, I'm trying to push through people. I'm like, bro, you guys going to leave me. He said, he said, we're going to the after party. So I'm like, I start trying to bob and weave. Mind you, I, I'm not worried about my three, three airheads and cleft. I'm not worried about them anymore. I'm a man on a mission. But... End of the story, I, I lost him, though. I ain't know where his... T- and Toronto's tall. He's probably like 6'4". And, and I lost him. So I'm out. Now I'm in the let out. But the let out is crazy. Because that, that little bar was definitely popping. Like, it was, it was 100% popping. So now I'm at, the, I'm at the let out. I'm walking back. Now I gotta go find my other guys. Because I done left everybody to chase Toronto. But he's long gone. Then I see Jag. I mean, Jag is on a railing. Just like they said, Jag was like like the air balloon that's outside a, a used car place. Just like this, he on the railing like this. And I, I swear to God, I'm like, bro, I can't leave my man out here, bro. Cause and I'll rewind this to a Vegas tournament like two years ago when we went to Applebee's. This was in the middle of the tournament. I'll rewind. <laughs> We went to Applebee's to take a shot. I seen Jag the first time I seen we him in went Vegas. To Applebee's, you and know Jag, it's bad. Like you it. know where the Apple in the Vegas venue when it's like uh, it's right below there when you walk. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, 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 it's like an Applebee's. It's not Applebee's. It's Denny's. Denny's. That's Denny's. Yeah, but they have a bar there. So I see Jag. This is like 2 p.m. This is a Vegas story, so don't, don't be confused, Jack. Stay with me. Stay with me. But so this was 2 p.m. I see Jag. Like, let's take a shot. We go down to Denny's. He buys a shot. Never going, never going to turn down a shot. He buys another shot. He's talking to the waitress, OD. Like, OD obnoxious. I'm like, damn, Jag, you got to like this. So this is when I realized Jag was drunk as shit. Okay? But I want to go back up to the tournament because I want to watch some Madden. You know, I don't want to be I don't want to be on Jag babysitting duty, right? So I, I go to the counter. We, I pay, we pay the bill, whatever. I'm like, Jag, I'm out. He's like, no, I want to keep talking to the meet. I want to keep talking. So eventually I'm like, yo, Jag, I'm going back upstairs, bro. I went back upstairs, kicked it. By the time I walked back down with other people, Jag is laid out on the Denny's couch, just passed the fuck out. And everybody like, damn, who left Jag there? Who left Jag? He was with Dubby. Dubby, you ain't shit. And they started airing me out. I didn't know he was going to pass out like that. So all this went through my mind when I saw him on the railing, just, oh. I'm like, bro, I can't leave Jag again. So then I go and hold Jag up. Now, mind you, Jag, Jag not small. And I was hold like literally, if I wasn't there, he'd have been on the ground. So I'm holding him up the whole time. We all laughing at him. And it's funny, because Jack, ha ha ha, Jack, that shit is funny, right? So then some random bitch comes up there and tries to videotape my man. Now, this is how I feel about us, right? And everybody. I can joke about bugs all day. I could tell jokes about Mo and, and Skimbo and, and Problem. We could tell jokes about each other all day. But when some random bitch tries to put my man on a viral video, <clears throat> dude, I smacked the shit out of her phone. Wham! Right. That shit broke into 20 pieces. I said, no, nah, that's not going to happen today, baby. I smacked the... I, 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 I had to be on to do that shit, but I smacked the shit out of her phone, and that shit broke into 100 pieces, bro. And she was <laughs> sick, but she kept moving. She was trying and she, to fight you or what? Nah, I, I don't know. She kept the movement. See, this is what you realize. When you're as big as I am, people really don't try you. I, it's not that I can fight, but people don't try big-ass people, especially big, <laughs> bald people. Like, they don't just don't try you. You know? If Clef would have did that shit, they might have tried him. But I definitely smacked the shit. Because I, like, I don't like that. Like, I feel like only I'm allowed to make fun of people. 
You know what I'm saying like yeah. I could laugh at bugs all day, but I don't like when another person laugh at him. Like that's yeah. that's crazy. And and, McKibbin, and honestly, I really did it because I left him that one time at Denny's. So and and this is what's crazy. I don't remember who I I'm, I think I might have gave Jag to uh, Lucas. I was like, huh, go ahead, take Jag. <laughs> he was like, yo, I'm tired of this Jag shit. Now apparently Jag started rumbling. <laughs> Somebody, because that's what I say to myself. How does Jag never just get rolled on? How does that's that never I'm happen? About. Because Jack can't just be drunk and, like, be cool. Like, no. Jack is fucking wild. It, he don't get it, bro. Like, he he has to be the drunkest person in the club. Bro, yes. yes. And, like, I don't know how somebody hasn't just cold clocked this shit out of him or something. <laughs> For no reason. Yeah, like, 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 <laughs> like bumping him. Because, you know, he'd be stop. talking hell and shit. Yeah. Bro. Dude, he's, like, one of the people who just be, who literally will mean mug everybody while he's drunk. Like, nah, fuck you. Yeah, you so, me. so for me, it's like, bro, how is nobody just clean clocked the shit out of him? <laughs> and nobody has. So, so, but that's how that went. But then, we went to the strip club. I might fast forward a little bit because I don't incriminate myself. Don't do that here. I incriminate others, but I won't incriminate yeah. myself. So we go to the strip club probably from 2.30 to 3. No, 2.30 <laughs> to probably about 5.30 because this is what made me mad, right? I get into the strip club with my three stooges and Clef. Actually, and, and T. Davis. I'll talk about T. Davis. That's a great point. This motherfucker T. Davis don't know how to tip a stripper. I wish my camera could like. All right, so here go his dollars, right? Here, here go the stripper ass right here. He go like this and run away from the bitch. Like he literally turn his head and just he be like, like, like this, <laughs> like this, <laughs> like this shit got a disease. He be like and just <laughs> run away. I'm like, bro, you gotta go get your money's worth. That's a hard earned three dollars. Dude, you pay that three dollars to touch her ass, like bro. You don't pay the three dollars to just throw it in dead ass. Like he did that shit, like he was sneaking, like like dude, no, like, he did that shit, like he didn't want nobody to see him. Like he was just like, he, like he was the fucking Pink Panther, and threw and threw the shit and then, yo, I could, I'm telling you, bro. I was like, nah, man, that's it can't go down like that. So then I told him, like, bro, y'all go up there and get your money's worth. Listen, because <laughs> I guess when you guys don't know, you got, you can get your money's worth. Because when you're when you're young, not that T Davis is young, but my biggest thing was that I, I didn't think I could touch strippers. I thought that was like you had to pay extra. <laughs> no. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you don't. Don't be fooled, chat. Don't be fooled. You don't gotta pay extra. You can pay one dollar, and if you're a smart man, you take that one dollar and keep rubbing that thing all over. <laughs> that one dollar can go a long way. I'll tell you that right now. So that's how it works. You know what I'm saying, but uh, so T. Davis didn't know. Had to show him. So mind you, um, then I I, I went off with one of the dancers. We we went and we went and had a long talk about a horse. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying, and then so I get out. All these guys laughing at me. Vilma, the why all these all these guys laughing at me. like ha 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 you a sucker ha 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 you was, okay that's cool mind you it's now it's like four o'clock I want to go home I'm tired but here go my three stooges now the three stooges want to start talking to girls we've been in the club an hour and a half now y'all want to start y'all conversations <clears throat> and I'm talking about conversations leading nowhere they just talking to can talk. They talking about Oprah's book club. They talking about ingredients to pasta. They talking about the weather next Tuesday. They not talking about nothing, but they want to talk all night. Mind you, I want to go. I want to go home. I'm tired. I'm looking at the time. That's when Ryan left. Strafen left like out. I'm like, all right, bro. Because Strafen was staying where I was staying. It, it was me, Ryan. It was me, Strafen, and Rico. And he had like a two uh, a bedroom suite, which had like a uh, a living room and a bedroom, and it had like a pull-out couch, so it had two king beds. Now, mind you, I, we never stayed in that shit at the same time, though, because of this. So he leaves, and I got my two, three stooges talking to strippers about the weather for two hours, and I'm just looking like this. I'm I fell asleep. I did as I'm in a chair, sleep. Because they laughed at me for the first two hours. Ha ha, you a sucker. Then started talking to all these women all night when I wanted to go home. So eventually we leave when the club lets out. Like the club literally had to close for us to leave. Because that's how long they talked to these women about life. Literally never disappeared. Jack Gaming, there he is in the chat. 
However, so we probably leave at like 5.30. We're downtown Dallas, Arlington. We probably get there at 6 o'clock. Now, mind you, I know Rico and Ryan got to wake up for the uh, for the tournament. You know, they, they don't gotta, they're not going to sleep in all day. So for me, I'm like, bro, I'm not going to go up there with four dudes like, yo. Because Vilma and them don't have no place to stay. They're not going back to the DFW. That's over. So it's four of us. We outside the hotel. I'm like, bro, I'm going to just sleep in the car until they got to go. So we all passed out in the car. And uh, mind you, it was probably for like two hours. It was probably to like 8 o'clock. That's when I went into the hotel, ate some some free breakfast. I told, and then I go upstairs, and they all they about to leave anyway. I tell Whitey and Vilma, yo, yo, y'all can come up here. Like they about to go to sleep, they about to dip. Y'all can lay down here. It's free breakfast. We can chill in the room, whatever. Once again, Whitey's on his cleft shit. An hour later, oh, I just saw this. We started driving home. <laughs> all right, so they they gone. They out for sure. Sunday come, Rico and Ryan leave to do their thing. I actually fell asleep. I went to bed that from like 9 a.m. prior to 1 p.m. in 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 the bed. So tournament happens. Boom. We talked about all the games. Hip hip hooray, hip hip hooray. I just saw this is what everybody say. I said the white in the club. Clef said it when we had to pick him up. All this stuff. So the last night. Listen. So the last night, um, I'm ready to turn up. Once I said, I haven't seen Skimbo since we went to the Cowboys game. I don't know. The, the, literally does not. The only time Skimbo texted me was like, Boogs fucking sucks. I hate him. I swear to God, this is the only text he sent me. Like, that's the only text he sent me. But, um, so after that, um, it's the last night. I see the tournament and I say I met Texas. Live. All EA went to Texas Live, which is like I said, it's like a quarter mile from the venue. They went to Texas Live. We had Texas Live. I'm just drinking. I was with User. And Bugs. Bugs ate half of two chicken wings. Like, yo, if you ever want to see, if you ever could see a mouse pick up a chicken wing and eat a chicken wing, Bugs would be how a mouse would eat a chicken wing. No, like, he don't, like, like, it's crazy. But he ate, he ate a half of two of them. But, um, so after that, I'm with Bugs and User. I seen R- I didn't see RG all week. I wanted to see him. That's why I went up there. I see RG and Chow. And then um who was a user was there with Bugs. And uh me and Ryan. Because me and Ryan were in, in the hotel getting ready. I told Ryan I'm out. Like I'm not because Rico seemed like he didn't want to go out. So I'm like, yo, Ryan, I'm out. So me and him went to Texas Live. So we were just sitting there drinking for a little bit. And um RG and Chow left. Seen a couple people from EA, like my man Travis and uh Corbin. I saw them guys. That's it. And then Cole and uh, Scheming came, and Scheming cousin. Scheming is another Vilma type. Got to smoke every half hour, nonstop. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, for me, if I smoke that much, I'm just going to be like a zombie. Like, And that's how Clef was. I think that's what got Clef. Because Clef came, because I told Clef that we out. I'm not picking you up this time. Whitey's not here. You got to take an Uber. So I tell all these guys this shit like 10 o'clock. Mind you, we probably don't all meet up till midnight. But anyway, Clef come in, and he come in strolling. And for some reason, Clef had the eyes, like, when he get on anyway, they just closed. Like, his eyes are not open. The whole <laughs> night, and no one saw Clef eyes. Like, literally, he just like this all night. I'm like, yo, Clef, what's up? Yo, I'm, I'm high, man. Uh, so he was on. So so then, I'm still drinking. I'm going to drink. That's what I do. And um, so we start drinking. That At that point, it's that point is- me, Ryan, Cole, Scheming, and Clef. And then, then we tell Kiv to come. But but by the time Kiv and them, I don't know what the hell they was doing. By the time they got ready, we was already on the way to the spot. But somehow, Bugs and User pull up in this Uber. Now somehow they have a, a their own Uber driver, and there's this guy named David. And apparently, David is like some sorcerer. Like he knows everything. And apparently, he's like some great salesman, right? <laughs> So users really asking David a bunch of questions about life. So I'm thinking David is goddamn Bill Gates. By the time <laughs> of the end of the story, and, and David is feeling, is he selling a dream? Like he's really selling me, selling us a dream. And Bugs and user are just they buying all this shit. Like they listening to everything this man says. Like he's really John the Baptist or some shit. They they listening to everything. And David has that voice. David's probably like 65 old white man, you know, and he has that voice like, yes, this guy David knows what he's talking about. 
But by the end of the story, they say, David, what do you do? He says, I work at Home Depot. Not me, myself. <laughs> if you got all this shit going on, why are we at Home Depot? Shit makes no sense. But he worked at Home Depot. That's cool. <laughs> no, that's the man that they did. Like, it's crazy to me. But anyway, one of the biggest mistakes we made well, at this point, our squad was was pretty heavy uh, black. We had a pre- it was pretty much just me and Ryan were the only white guys in the squad. But one of the biggest problems was we did not switch up me and Ryan. The other Uber was all black guys. It was Scheming, Cole, and Clef. And and we didn't even think that w- maybe we shouldn't have trusted them. We get into the right spot. We didn't think about that. We left them all by themselves. So we get to the spot. Kiv had already. I text him the address of the spot. So Kiv and Mo and Crusher there. And um, so we go in the club, right? We in the club. Tyronto got the section again. Boom. The club looks kind of looks kind of good. It's kind of nice. He, Tyronto says, trust me, this joint's going to be popping in like an hour. And I got to trust him because last night was crazy. So I got to trust him. So, so, mind you, about 15 minutes in, I looked at Ryan like, yo, what happened to our other Uber? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So much, like this, I want to say this is a white club, right? This is like a probably a seventy five percent white club, right? It probably is. So I'm like, damn, what happened to our squad, our black Uber squad? What happened to them? <laughs> black and black Uber squad, like damn, Clef and it's cool. So damn, I, then we go back to this. It kind of goes back to the whitey situation where damn, my squad really outside. I don't, I don't really know if I want to ask because it's already it's already like eight of us to this one bottle. It's like all right, let me go get my squad. And they almost even let them in. Because they was wearing hats and stuff, but Tyronto went and got them. They all get in. We kicking it. Um, Clef, I, I think by this point, Clef is, is, he's still with us. Like, he's still with us by this point. Um, and he, he definitely, uh, but he was, he was, you could see one more, one more drink, he'd been gone. But we did gamble who was going to last longer, Crush or Bugs. And I, and I will tell you this right now. They both they both moved up the power rings. Now, Tyronto is that guy. I will tell you this right now. And when it comes to Dallas, Tyronto is that guy. He got plugs everywhere. Just get us right in, boom, we good. So, like I said, it was Crush versus Bugs for the night. I definitely had Crush. I will tell you this: Crush made more drinks than Bugs, bar none. Bugs definitely was not at the little. The little table with the drink and the juice as much as, as Crush was. Crush was really about that action. He really was. But Bugs was also Bugs was drinking too. So I can't. I, that's why Bugs is not Honda Bugs. He he might be Cadillac Bugs. I was trying to think what's between a Cadillac and a Honda. You know something like that. Yeah, Cr- Crush might have doubled Bugs. As far as drinks, yeah, Crush was crushing. Put it that way. He 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 was crushing. And but the thing about Crush. He don't know how to. Mm, I talked about the hookah thing. I talked about the stripper thing. But crush, the way he stare at women. And Kip could talk about this. Bro, he don't look at chicks. He's like, he got a regular happy, like he a happy kid face, right? But when he starts staring at chicks, bro, he turns to serial killer. Like he just like. Like, he dead ass don't blink. He don't blink. Yo, he don't blink. Yo, you got to tap him. Like, you have to tap him. Like, yo, bro, you got to chill. Like, yo, you got to chill. It's bad. I'm like, yo, yo, like, bro, you like, he's never, like, seen a chick in real life. And he feels like he the only person in the room. Yeah, you got to tap, like, bro, you good. Yo. She all right, man. But he rolled out. Man, he going to learn it. Like, between that and the hookah, like, he's got a lot to learn, but he's ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he, he's showing up to school. And that means important. Cause, and, and we see somebody in here typing a lot. Mr. Wesley w- didn't want to show up to school. Yeah, he was scared to death. Scared to death of school. He missed the bus. He saw <sighs> the bus out the window and said, I'm good. I'm staying home, mommy. I don't want to go to school. He was scared to death. And I said, I said, Crush, you know what? You're going to win a belt before Wesley. You know why? You got what it takes. I didn't see Wes. I seen Wesley one time. Swooped his hair like this. 
Bro, I'm not I'm not going out, bro. I got a flight. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. Yeah, you got a flight. Everybody had a flight. I got a flight at noon tomorrow. You think at noon? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, Wesley definitely just Wesley Wesley lower than skin on the power rankings. Jeez. Crush was out there. He had the lay on too. He had the J's with the jeans and the black tee. He was clean. He was cl- listen. Crush is wet. Crush done learned a lot since he. When did he have that mop top? When he won the first Bengals uh club series? When he had Hold the on. crazy Kwani cut? Hold yeah. on. Little do you know, Crush definitely tried to put on a Nike jacket. Whoa. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a jacket? <laughs> oh, Crush most important player. One thousand percent. No, Wesley ain't make no money. All that mudhead money. No, Wesley, you took a L, man. Matter of fact, let me get that sword up off you for a month at least. Yeah, we got to get that sword up off Wesley. That ain't it. But, yes, Crush is the most improved. The staring got to stop. <laughs> no, this is what happened with Crush. When we first got in the club, he was like, W, these, these girls, they kind of light. I was like, all right. I said, shit, what? He said, Crush was like this. Crush was like, yo, these girls kind of light. This like the first half hour. There's no way he said that. He said that. I said, He's Crush. not even someone that's allowed to say that. Yeah, but he said that. I'm saying, like, I, and, and this is why I told Kip. And it was me, Kip, and Crush. I'm like, Kip, tell me this. Every bitch in here would be in Crush top five. <laughs> he was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, what? All these bitches be in top five. But then it's like an hour left go. Crush keeps drinking. I go up to Crush. I'm like, Crush, these, these chicks still light? He like, they getting better. <laughs> <laughs> He said, they're getting better. <laughs> I was like, damn, but I'm telling you, that look, he was sipping his drink, he'd be like, bro, how about when that girl was dancing on Tyrano or whatever and crushes just That's what's up, but that's how he was looking. <laughs> Yo, I caught my dude looking for like, like it doesn't, it's, it, listen, when I say the number, it's gonna not going to sound like it, but think about it in seconds. I'm talking about for five minutes. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you. Not like, moving. Not, no no blinking for five minutes. Bro, he was plotting some wild shit. That was definitely some wild <laughs> That shit was crazy, bro. It was like he was... Yeah. Bro, it was like he had an ex- exorcism or some shit, yes. bro. Like, <laughs> you know, bro. Crush stare game is crazy, dude. <laughs> you know, it really was. Yo, do not challenge that motherfucker to I'm a stare game. I'm not, I'm not challenging Crush to <laughs> shit. <laughs> If it ain't mad, that's the only thing I, I'm, I shoot. That's the lead. I'm afraid of crushing everything else. Shit. They're like, damn. I, he can't kill. I, I ain't going to get hurt playing Madden. <laughs> like, shit. But, damn, I don't want to play no sports. I don't want to play shit. Keep crushing around him. He is a secret weapon. Damn. Clef, we need to find a crush out yeah, here in these streets, Literally man. did blink for five minutes one time. Just staring at this chick. Yeah, I remember Kip tapped me on my shoulder and said, "Yo, you gotta just look at Crush." And I, man, I look <laughs> at him, and I try to play it off like it ain't nothing. I'm like, "Nah, man, my dude's just." And, but the, I, I look like three minutes later, and he still got the same look. Bro, no, this the worst part. But, but look, you hit him like, "Yo, chill." He like, "Yeah, yeah, you right." But then he go from the like, yeah, and he like, he just transfer right back into it like. <laughs> He don't like, he don't take the advice. He's just like, yeah, yeah, you're right, I'm tripping. He just go right back into it. Yeah, oh my God. Wesley really, so Wesley was like, I have a fight, I can't go out? Bro, Joe, he was scared to death, bro. Honestly, I'm I'm happy he didn't come. Oh yeah, he fucked it up. He fucked the vibe up. Like, Crush, uh... Crush was pushing, honestly. <laughs> Crush, you know what I'm saying? Wesley. <laughs> Jeez. Man, but then yeah, we was out, and then uh, we wound up going to strip club, and that's when Clef died. I think we had to carry Clef from from the moment we left the first joint. Everybody had to carry Clef. It was just you got to carry Clef, like that's just how it worked. Let me see if I have all these pictures on my joint. <clears throat> y'all can see how lit Clef was. At what point do y'all think it was like all right? This shit is getting bad for for the Clef man. Where is it? This this is probably like an hour, maybe like an hour before Clef died. You can already see, like, he look, he got all this sloppy shit on his shirt. He done poured a shot right on his shirt rather than drink it. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm just pour this pour this shot out on my shirt. Like, he gone. You're like, he the only one without his eyes open in the picture. 
So at that point, you start to realize, like, all right, Clef might not make it. Like, he might not make it all the way. You know what I'm saying? So, so when we let that Clef, we had to carry Clef around. Like, yo, come on. Come on, young boy. You know what I'm saying? We carried him around. He got out. And uh, we walked up to the uh, walked up to the strip club. But we got a section of the strip club, which was kind of weird because we were, like, off in the top balcony, like, not really in the mix. But the strip club was popping. It really was. That shit was popping. And I had went there from a nice, strong um, request. Or, or somebody had told me that it was the best. It was Because, you know, I like a little more voluptuous, voluptuous woman. The strip club the night before was pretty much... Um, strip club the night before was pretty much, you know, you know, the nice... The Becky types. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kev, you already know I got this. You know, I got this loaded up. So the strip club the night before was the Becky types. You know, that's not really my speed. So we went to this one was a little more voluptuous. It was popping. Tell you the popping. So Tyranto goes, we get the section. Okay, that's cool. I wound up getting hookahs. Somehow Shift got cold, got chicken wings. I don't know how the hell his big ass got chicken wings, Jeez. but he just wound up with a platter in the strip club. I'm like, why didn't any nobody told me about this? But Cole somehow just had chicken wings, a whole platter out of nowhere. <laughs> And he fuck up all the chicken wings, and then Skimmy was like, "Yo, those was my joints." <laughs> like, like, what the hell? I don't know how that happened, bro. Um, so then we're in the section, and like, I gotta, show, we gotta show you the video. Of, at this point, Clef is dead. We just giving him money to throw a bit, to try to keep him awake, but that's really not working. So, um, we had to go, uh, and this is this is the crush. Clef video I'm saying Like yo He's all the way dead But but Crush was riding I'm trying to tell you He over here Look That's pathetic And that's pretty much how this was the most active Clef was for the rest of the night. There was no more. He didn't move at all. You know what I'm saying, but Crush, I'm telling you, Crush got better as the night went on. Like I think we start. I think he knew about the hands on man. I, I think that was definitely the move, man. So, but Crush got. But then we got the hookah. This is the point, Crush is super gone. Like he had no idea what to do with the hookah, but he kept taking this shit. Like literally, he'll hold this shit for ten minutes, then just leave it on the ground, like on the fucking ground, and get up and walk around. And literally, I go pick it up. Like, damn, crush, what's up? I pick it up, put my tip in, pause, I, and I start smoking. As soon as I take a hit of the hookah, who back talk about like this? Yo, let me get that joint back. I'm like, yo, god damn. So he had no idea how to do that, but he learning. You know what I'm saying? It's baby steps with, with the uh, with the hookah with the crush, man. But then, um, so then at that point, we leaving the club. Tyronto and Kiv, they like, yo. We want to go to the after party. Mind you, it is 5.30. Dead ass, 5.30 in the morning. They're like, yo, we got to go to the after party. You know, I got Dak Prescott with me that's just all the way dead. Like, like just, he doing, he doing the boom, pop a perk. He popping a perk outside the club. Like, he just, I got weekend. It's really W and weekend at Bernie's. That's why I got to carry around weekend at Bernie's with his African soccer jersey on. What you mean? Just, just a week, it's weekend at Dak Prescott's right now. I'm carrying him around. I'm like, bro, I can't go to the after party. I want to go to the after party. It, could, it was probably popping. So I'm just carrying Clef around. But I don't know where Clef lives. And, and you can't wake him up at this point. I'm going to take him back to Rico's spot, and he's going to pass out. Take him back there. He pass out. I fall asleep on the couch. Uh, and then I wake up. You know, and then Rico, I, I know my flight wasn't until 11, so I was cool. Uh, Clef had missed his joint, but Rico hooked him up, I guess. Got all that together, and... uh. He made it home. I, I just that's 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 how it worked, really. I, I'm not really missing nothing else, really. Mo, did you have any other exciting times while you were out there with, with the 818 gang? Uh, no, not really. Okay. So, oh, uh, so, so yeah. who who? What are the power rankings? I mean, Toronto was number one on the power rankings. Toronto okay. has passed me up. Um, yeah, that was. I would like to see. I would like to see it. Um, State to state, I'd like to see him. Oh, you know, might be right. He might not be yeah. glitchy somewhere else. He might be regular. I need to see him out of his element. <sighs> I need right. to see him battle tested. You right, but in his element. Oh, in glitch. his element. You know, I mean, he's the fucking mayor of Texas or Dallas. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, misery. Because I never saw misery. That's why I never saw him one night. 
He didn't come out once. He'd be the main one talking shit. How can I watch the all the play? But just watch. You got to be a sub, D. Johnson, or you got to wait till tomorrow like the rest of the suckers that's not subbed. And sub costs $2.50 right now. So if you can't pay $2.50 for this two-and-a-half-hour podcast, then I don't know what to tell you, brother. Yeah, yeah, but Tyronto is definitely... he. I, I got to put him over me because he had the glitch. Um, I He ain't asked for no money, but he asked for some uns today. So I do him some money. I can't. If he asked for no money, I was like, bro, this motherfucker probably spent five grand. How much did he ask for? He didn't, he just said that was a couple hundred dollars. I'm doing five hundred bucks. Because there was a bunch of people. I, I was like, uh, yo, like, I felt like I should throw him money regardless. But I, but I'm like, at the same time, I'm like, bro, if he don't, bro, if he don't, uh, <laughs> I mean, if he don't ask, I mean, what, what's the <laughs> etiquette on that chat? It's all right. I could understand if it was like one of my close friends. But somebody I don't know is like, W, come out. We getting all these bottles. Come turn up with us, blah, blah, blah. And he buying all these bottles. What is my, what is, and he said he probably spent, I want to say like four grand. He want to say in the chat. What is the obligation for me? If I you don't, don't ask. That night that I was at the club, he got like fucking six bottles, it felt like. All right, let's see. I will tell you exactly the text message he sent the group chat today. Nobody it else said like- shit in the group chat. Like nobody else, yo. I'm the only person that texts back. Let me see who's really? in this group chat. I don't know if they sent him money. All right, two numbers I don't know: Strafen, Skimbo, and Jag. Nobody else is shit in the group chat. But uh, he said, "Hope everyone had fun." The tab for night one was twenty four hundred, and night two was uh, seventeen hundred. So with twenty four and seventeen is I don't thirty four is forty four thousand dollars. Yeah. I feel like I gotta throw something. If like he, I'm not, all right, let's say what if he don't ask for anything, do you throw money? Like he don't ask and you don't really know him. Like if do you throw money then? If he don't ask? Nah. But he asked for two or three hundred, I do him five hundred. I'm doing alright right now. If I was doing a little rougher, uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Might have got a little yeah, darker. No, but the one thing why I decided to throw um money because I did the, the first night because I didn't I was like yo just get some more bottles I'm coming through I'll get some of the bottles I said that like literally yo buy some more bottles I got you so for that if I didn't say that it would have been a little yeah, different yeah, yeah. but I am the only dumbass that goes to the club gets bottles but still be at the bar ordering drinks all the time because like yeah, I feel yeah. like I feel like the bottle don't last that long. And I don't want to be on well, my crush I feel shit. Like the bottles don't ever get finished. I don't want to be on my crush shit and just drinking, <laughs> just staying by the joint, keep drinking it. But I definitely went and bought hella drinks. I probably spent another two hundred at the bar, really. Yeah. So, but but yeah, that was it was a good time both nights, really. So, but he I, he got to be up there. But Ryan Ryan he Ryan with me. Ryan might be number three. Uh, yeah, you said Carrie was a little light this weekend. I don't know. Kerry might get knocked down. I don't know if Kiv can pass Kerry. I don't know if that's possible yet. But uh, Kerry still got to be up there. Misery all the way out. My misery. Listen. Uh, I I must shoot. Who else is up here? Clef Price still in there though, cause he he did do back to back nights. Only me and Strafen did back to back nights and survived. So I don't know. Yeah, it's not that many people that ride out every night. This is me and Strafen, really. Normally T Davis be out there. I don't know if Clef I don't know if Clef called Earl. I don't I don't think he called Earl. Sometimes you, if Clef would have called Earl, he might have fought through that. You know what I'm saying? He might have fought through that, but he didn't want to call Earl. Back to back, I ain't getting no sleep. And that's they always got excuses like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't eat. But Bugs, I, I'll tell you, when we get back on the Honda Bugs, he rolled out and he was drinking. He was on. You know how Bugs got a big ass head? When he starts drinking, his eyes get big as shit. Like he don't, like he just don't, like he just always like this. And he always got some wild shit to say. When Bugs get drunk, he says, Yo, I'm buying everything. That's what he said. That's what he said in Uber. I'm buying everything. Yo, listen, I, I got it. He said, One day I'm going to pay for all of y'all to get in the club. I said, Bugs, right now you could pay. Bugs ain't pay for shit. Like <laughs> shit, he he ain't come out of pocket for nothing. Eyes big as shit, looking around. 
telling you, but he definitely moved up the rankings. Bugs is over. Bugs is over Skimbo, one thousand percent. I'll tell you that he's over Skimbo because I ain't like I said. I seen Skimbo the first night. Once the sun went down, he was like, "All right, I gotta go lab left." Boom. He just lab Panther heavy That's just to lab. lose to it. I'm saying like that shit. I'm saying. That's what, listen, the more you laugh at shit, the worse you are against it. That's how I feel. Because it gets into your mind that you can't stop it. And I would talk about Skimbo, but it's, I, I ain't get to see him play. He ain't making far enough for us to see him play, so shit. Bug, Bugs definitely killed Skimbo this weekend, bro. Boom. But shit. Is there anything else you want to add to the turn-up conversation, Mo? I, mean, I feel like I'm being a little disrespected, honestly, as far as the rankings go, but it is what you, it is. You think, where do you think you are in the rankings? I don't know. I guess it just depends on how much sample oh, size. Let's, we forget about somebody that's really number one. Fucking Jag. I mean, God. <laughs> now, Jag is at the bottom of the list, bro. <laughs> is like, Jag at the bottom or Jag, the top? Jag got to get his shit to, together, bro. Like, my dude needs to be able to catch it. Like, literally, literally can't catch a vibe. <laughs> like catch one vibe, catch just catch a vibe for like ten seconds, Jag. Yeah, like too. at least an hour, bro. Have fun for an hour, bro. Like, yeah. like <laughs> he don't have no <laughs> to. Oh, Sterling up there, bro. Sterling is glitchy. I don't know. I thought I thought it was a um, the club was 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 a pretty good time. I mean, okay. I, I dipped out after the. Yeah, ain't Moe make it all night. He, he was like, oh, man, 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 man. That's how he started talking. Once they start talking like that, you got to let them go. Oh, man, man, blah, 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 blah. It's like, Mo, congratulations. He's like, blah, blah, blah. I was like, hey. <laughs> Bo tried to fight a cop, or Jag tried to fight a cop. I, I believe it. That's why I said, I don't know how Bo, how Jag never just got cold clocked and just done. <laughs> I just, I can't believe I've never seen. Oh, VTech. Oh, yeah, VTech top five for sure. But he lost and got popped and, and started crying and left. So he might have went down to power rankings for that one. But I was definitely out with him the, the night before, or Friday, the first night. Yes. When I left Sterling with the tab, I went and, and met up with VTech. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what happened. You're right. VTech is up there. Jay, if Jay, Jay, I've only seen Jay one time, the one tournament, but he's up there. I, I, had, I remember in Orlando, I had two black chicks. I brought them around Jay and VTech. Worst decision of my life. Oh, my God. Then I, then, oh, I think VTech took two of my black chicks in Vegas one time too. I gotta stop bringing chicks around VTech. I gotta stop. This shit getting bad. I got too many stories to tell y'all that, but that's for another time, man. I, I appreciate I appreciate you having me on. For sure, man. I appreciate you coming on. I mean, this is five man champions I got to talk to. Uh, shoot. So you are the two time uh, two two time belt holder. So we're gonna get belt, both these belts. I think you should get both the belts, get them joints to your mom, and let them do what they want with them. Yeah, probably. Will. I think that's a good idea because they be hype. You know, they be <clears throat> supporting you. I like, talk about that because I'd be like, should be pissing me off, man. I don't like when my mom be getting all into Madden and everything. How you feel about? Oh that? yeah, nah, yeah, it's it's kind of ass. Like I wish, I it is something I wish I could keep like separate. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but at the same, I started realizing my mom is like. It's also cool, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, it's also. Yeah. It's cool that, that she care. I mean, obviously that she like supports her or whatever. But mm-hmm. there's definitely times where I like get tired of talking about like, you know like yeah. my girl, my mom. They'd be asking a million fucking questions. It's like uh, it's not even like that deep. You know what I mean? It's, it's definitely bad. No, it's like yeah, and then like listen, I didn't play man for so long, but they just yeah. knew that I played man. Like this is when I said I'm going to Orlando. I won five thousand dollars. They didn't know I played this shit this much. And uh, but now I feel like my mom is like sixty five because I'm I'm a thirty two. My mom is sixties, right? So it's like, and she don't really have shit else to really do, really. You know what I mean? So between me and my sister, that's really what she thinks about all day. So to give her something to think about is kind of a little different, honestly. Or yeah. to, when you look at it like that, it's like, yeah, all right, go ahead. But I'd be pissed. Like, I'd be, first of all, she got like a burner Twitter. And it's, and it's like her full name, like her real name. Like what? The, like what? And she randomly be like a shit. You know, I'd be kind of a little bit wild on Twitter. Like I, the reason I'm not on Facebook like that is because all my parents and all my family is on Facebook. So I'd be like, no, nah, I'm good off of that. But now Twitter and all, and all that st- stuff really got like f- just taken over. It's like, bro, yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of rough sometimes. But that, that's the price you pay. Shoot. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But all right, buddy. I definitely will probably see you soon somewhere. 
hopefully see right, one man. of these events. But yeah, I appreciate you coming on. Congratulations again, man. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Well, chat. That's how it goes, man. But I appreciate you guys coming on here. This podcast is at two two hours and forty five minutes, man. Uh, that's a long ass time. So if you're on YouTube and you watch this podcast that long, hopefully you start to become part of this man community, man. Like I said, I didn't know my man Sterling from a can of paint. Met him, kicked it with him one night, left him with a tab. I felt bad. I gave him cash the next day. So um, I appreciate you guys coming by, man. So if you're on YouTube, please hit the like button. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, I appreciate you guys. Wesley, you cannot get your sword back. That's not happening. Um, yeah, so this was episode 45, and I'm glad I got a chance to talk to Mo. Uh, I'm glad I'm good to talk. This is the five out of five. Uh, whoever won the belt hopped on the podcast, and it's good to hear man from their point of views and also the turn up from uh, their point of views. It's definitely something good. So I appreciate you guys coming by, man. Hit that like button, subscribe. Make sure you put that bell on so you know when the podcast drops. And if you didn't catch it live, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on my Twitch. That link is below.